Hey everyone, welcome to the fourth anniversary spectacular Yay! podcast episode oh, of the oh, Horror Show. Oh, I'm oh, Cecil Laird. I'm Jaime in Fuego. I'm Cece Von Slaughter. I'm Producer Dave. I'm Andrew Mercer. Luis Hernandez. Marsha Parker. That's right, you guys. It we are here in the round here to celebrate the fourth <laughs> anniversary of the Horror Show podcast. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the show has been around for about four mm. years and three months. However, the podcast did just launch four years ago this week. So, um, as you guys are seeing this, which is about a week from when we're recording this, just so you guys know, um, <laughs> live. Uh, wanted to, uh, <laughs> to let you future. guys know that we are super excited to talk about just everything up till this point. Four years of the show. This might be an extended podcast. That was the idea. If people have to leave early, we understand. But um, we just figured we'd kick back, have some drinks. Um, those of us that have not been able to have drinks throughout <laughs> various courses of the show... Uh, two of us here. Yeah, we should. In we fact, should talk about the birth rate of the show. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's insane. In the four years We're of the show. How many children have been? Quite frankly, there have been five regular females on the show. Four of them have exited and had a, a, a child of their own, and the fifth exited into having multiple kids. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a fertile, cold -blooded. fertile we, yeah, environment. We're a very fertile yeah. environment, apparently. So yeah. On the female side. Yeah, yeah so I was going to mm -hmm. say, none of the males on the show have fathered any children. Oh, oh, I thought she, uh, she was man. Yeah, no. Yeah, not, oh, okay. not yet. I was like, as far as I know, I'm sure that's, I'm sure that's, I know, I'm sure it's not, not So anyway. Yeah, right on. <laughs> Move along, sir. Guys, we're here to just sort of celebrate the fact that the show's been around for over four years. Just so everyone knows, we did just cross over 19,000 subscribers. Yay! Over 4.1 million views on the channel. We're marching. Yeah. marching the 20 quickly, yeah. too, man. So we, and we have Table Cat, uh, Table Cat yes. walking around, <laughs> having some fun. Can she be seen? Whew, I'm a little tired. Man, a long not? day for me. But, uh... Guys, I, I I don't know. There's not really any specific order to this outside of let's just uh, let's talk about the channel. So everyone here has varying memories, good and maybe not so good. So let's start off with some of the more fond memories of the channel. Fuego, do you have a particularly fond memory from the channel that you could conjure up real quick? It's not very <laughs> difficult. To, it's not not very difficult, man, because it's a pretty sweet memory. Um, okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's when we made a. Sh a pretty badass short film, and uh, we, we booked out a spot called the Rockin' Our Ranch, and uh, it was Chandler or Mesa, technically? Mesa. Mm. Yeah, Mesa. Mesa. Well, yeah, it was, it, it was basically very far from where I live. East, and it East was, Mesa. Yes, very far East Mesa, but it was uh, it was a small little, like, recreation of a western town, and it was a script idea that I, I just had uh, today, as of the filming of this, the four-year friend anniversary of you and myself. Oh. I got the notification today when we became Facebook friends. Oh, very true. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. true. So, so I'll drink it now. <laughs> cheers. cheers. So good, thanks. Hey, well, everyone here, oh, cheers us all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and I do have to, I guess they're supposed to drink after you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't count. Yeah. Your wish won't come true. <clears throat> no, man, but, um, the, the first time I met you was very, very brief, and then, uh, actually, I think you and I became Facebook friends before we even met, now that I think about it, because mm -hmm. if it's March, and we didn't meet for the first time until May at Comic-Con, and then really get to we know had each to other in that Susie. monster, you must it was have totally, out. Well, mm -hmm. well, because remember, I was like super fan of the first season of the horror you show. You were, it was yeah. great. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. awesome. Those were some good good reviews, though. Fun films covered, and so uh, the first time we got to really hang out, though, was when Mad Monster and you and I kind of conjured the idea after you saw the cosplay of the Skinner Sweet character. Mm -hmm. We were like, dude, let's let's do this, let's do this. And it went from being the original idea of, like, killing co-eds in the modern setting. And I was like, no, we got to make a Western, dude. we got to do it that way. We're in Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> it just <laughs> makes sense, right damn it. And, uh, yeah, just from the inception to just the, the changing of the idea and everything, it was... Uh, it's, it's pretty dope, man. Just it the is, way it is, all kind of came when you, about. When you think about it, it's it's pretty cool the fact that the first time I genuinely met you, you were in your Skinner Sweet cosplay at Mad Monster, right? 
Of that, well, no, no, it was at Phoenix Comic Con when oh, you were running Phoenix around with, with Susie trying to get But were get you in Skinner Street? I was in the Skinner Street. So that was the that first day. time I met you, though. I, I believe it was Saturday, so it was the third day of the, the, the 2014 convention. So so I saw you as that, and I was I, on the convention floor in your G convention? section. It was? No, no. <laughs> yeah. no I'm saying it. That's actually it was a guy with a red shirt who walked by at 2.14. Yeah, it was, uh, it, it was pretty on point, though. <laughs> I, was, right. I was going around doing it. Well, no, I was. That's what I was saying. How cool is that that you can actually. Say that's where it was. Like, well, that's so the point is, I the was point there is, doing press for each you were wearing team, a, made, they a black shirt saying the horse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't mouse. at that point. We didn't have any kind of shirt. You're wearing the percent. Okay. We, uh, yeah, no, we were we were a couple of years in before we started to get our own shirts and stuff. Yeah, once Sparsha started to get involved, you're welcome. Pretty much. But... <laughs> really, we'll get. To that we'll no, get around to that. Fine, okay. fine. Um, but uh, but yeah. So Fuego, um, yeah. It's it's really funny when you think about it. First time I meet him, he's in his Skinner Sweet cosplay. He tells us, um, you know, face to face, how much he likes the show that we've been doing for not a hugely long period of time at that point. You but launched in what January or February? January, yeah, yeah. January. And uh, exactly. And so we're in May at this point, but he's all about it and. Um, and I tell him, I'm like, yeah, we should do a short film where you play Skinner Sweet because I knew enough. I had read the first um, couple trades of American Vampire, the Stephen King co-created property with Scott Snyder and um, Raphael, Raphael Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but uh, but then dude. to think that that then, you know, three years later resulted in a finished Skinner Sweet short film that was named by Dread Central of all places. Dread Central, a huge horror <laughs> website, as one of the top five Stephen King inspired short films on the internet. Bow. Like, yeah. that is really fucking, that's huge. And it's humbling that, and honoring to be a part of the process with you, man. It really yeah. is. And I mean, everyone at this table. Except for Lou at that point. <laughs> right. Steve, well, and Steve, because uh, Steve's not here. So. And Steve as well, yeah, plus yeah, Steve. Yeah. Um, everyone here played a pivotal role in, in making sure that that short was what it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is super awesome, especially, you know, Andrew Mercer. He's been behind the scenes on the show since day one, since, yeah. since day one yeah. literally. Yeah. So. Uh, so Getting yeah, killed, and then you know, Susie's oh, yeah. been aboard since right. day one. one as well. Actually, can we tell Susie's? Uh, have we told Susie's audition story? You have, but <laughs> it, sure never have. I mean, it never gets old. It never gets old. Yeah. Have, okay. Well, we told it before. I don't. I don't. No. Well, but it was like. So what, should we have Susie tell it? Or no, I want you guys to tell it. Okay. I don't know well, if it's I been told I from Susie's perspective before. Now. <laughs> has it? It probably has from from when we did your your my history. perspective, but not you guys. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, go ahead, Dave. Well, I think I remember the, the the thing that I remember about it was afterwards when you were leaving. I think. Um... Miranda. Mm. Pizza. <laughs> What's his, name? Um, What's his name? Josh? No, you're <clears throat> ex. Marcus? Marcus. Marcus was there, uh, and he was picking <laughs> you up, and, I, and we said goodbye and everything like that, and then as soon as you drove up, I'm like, well, we don't really need to audition anybody else, do we? Like, because I felt like that was a good, the goodest, the best matched that we were going to find. <laughs> the goodest. Did you say goodest? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to make sure. That's how good it was. That's how uh, I remember, <laughs> but that's how I remember I was like, oh, she's perfect. Like, what, mm -hmm. what is there to talk about after that? Like... It was, you had the the ability, like, same with Jaime, and same with Cecil, and uh, to some extent, Marsha. Oh. <laughs> Shots <laughs> fired. Kind of like, what did I do to you? Well, uh, I, I, uh, this is, what I was going to say was, like, it's, <laughs> it's, not, it's not like a newscaster, but it's personality type, mm -hmm. where you can be on. Mm -hmm. And and that's what I saw in you, and I saw that a little as bit. As long as it doesn't in involve Miranda. a shit ton of research. <laughs> and <laughs> and oh, I mean, that was a dick. Damn, <laughs> shot fire. Oh, but look, plausibly. she took it. Like I knew she'd take it in, in stride because we're oh, messing around. Put yeah. the claws away. Come on. No, but Susie's been around since well, the very I had beginning. Said that's why. So nice. That yeah, exactly. No, be that, balanced out. Susie's been around since the very beginning, like literally the very beginning of the channel, um, along with well, the time Miranda, she was, but she has all the girls weathered the test of time. She's weathered the test of Cecil, as some <laughs> might say. Well, <laughs> so then which of the two girls auditioned first? Well, no, see, here's the thing. Uh, Miranda Sinday. Miranda was, was so more of a producer, like we already knew, uh, like uh, Robert and I already knew Miranda, so we were mm -hmm. already thinking of her. Mm -hmm. And so it was more like we auditioned a bunch of other girls, and Susie was the one of all, you know. Susie's was the one. That's it was the as one. simple as that. Mm -hmm. After we saw her, we're like, okay, well, that that mm -hmm. settles it. Mm -hmm. So that's, that settles it. So that was that. 
<laughs> no, Miranda true. didn't really audition per se. I mean, she came in and tested. <laughs> she came in and tested, but but yeah, but but yeah, between them, I mean, you know, uh, Miranda's love of horror got her, you know, a certain distance on the channel, and then she just, uh, you know, ended up leaving. But it takes more than just a love of horror to stay here. Yeah, like, it you, takes. You have to want to be here, and you have to become part of the family. And there and has to be a, a bit of a comfortable yeah. presence on the channel. You yeah. Know? You have the one that stays scared, I tell you. Um, well, and, and I think I think we always knew from the very beginning that it would be an evolving host channel where it was like we we always want new people and people who are really excited and can be here. We want them to come and yeah, enjoy. Yeah, that's why like, I wanted. That's why I didn't say Lewis? anything. Dirt. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the funny thing we keep going back to is that we had yeah we we had Susie and and Miranda come and uh, or Morgan <laughs> we're already <laughs> busting her identity yeah. here after the fact we had Morgan <clears throat> and Susie come and uh, audition they both did a good job but when Susie showed up she <laughs> turned out to be pregnant at the time right and, oh, yeah, uh, I forgot about that part of the story <laughs> yeah well that's the that's the thing David and I don't focus on that part of the story. Because it didn't matter to us, right. you know. It was you like it was the, she owned it, right? Yeah, it was yeah. the personality. And I wasn't just a little pregnant; I was super pregnant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but I think, it was there. there was but no, I think like, that pregnant. worked really well because our first season we shot in like two weekends. Yeah. No, what, what, yeah. it was two days. Yeah, two days. We shot the whole thing in Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, I was talking about like the sketches. And oh, stuff the sketches. Yeah, the sketches, yeah, the sketches were the other. So weekend. it was like That's over true. a couple of weekends. So it didn't. It wasn't because you even said, "Well, I'm going to have a child here in a few months." It, it didn't even matter because it was like, oh, well, we'll be done with the season by then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so, so yeah. yeah, that was Susie's entree. Go ahead. Interesting uh, uh, way to shoot the season in what a full day? 20, yeah, almost twenty four hours. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We that was that was our idea at that the was very good. beginning. Well, that, that was, was well, that we, was we shot logistic. a month a month's worth of material in two days <laughs> where. We came in and we shot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We shot the. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, no. We shot. We shot the wraparounds. We shot the wraparounds for every comedy sketch and. Um, got like no sleep. We got no sleep. We busted out. We we did. I think that we did. We did. We did. A yeah. review every Monday, well, Wednesday, and Friday say that. That's why we for the that first way. four weeks. Yeah. So that was a total of 12 reviews that we did both spoiler and non-spoiler. So 24 reviews we had to film in those first two days. Jesus um, and we, we filmed everything except the comedy sketches, which we filmed the following weekend. Yeah. Um, and, oh, and that was so, the that yeah. first season, you remember that? Yeah, I remember there. you calling me and going, hey, you want to come over? I got something cool going on. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell me what the story of Andrew's involvement was? Let's get Andrew's perspective. Was so, yeah, yeah, Andrew, how did you, how did you, like, like what, 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 what do you remember about getting started on this? It was just, it was just. Dave's been dragging yeah. Andrew into So, <laughs> I knew Dave, he's like, hey, I got some cool coming on. I knew Dave from work, and, I don't know, he had similar interests with, you know, like, producing. And, and and doing this filming stuff. Andrew had a YouTube channel before we had a YouTube channel. Had I over did. five thousand oh, views on some of his videos whatever. before what? mid-afternoon productions. Yeah, really. He was okay. he was editing wrestling videos. Yeah, and they were fucking huge. That stuff goes hard, man. Yeah, yeah. Still there was love it. there was a big following for that kind of stuff. Um, it was just a hobby. I know it's still real. Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, but, uh, like I said, I just kind of transitioned into doing other stuff, but I still like some of the same stuff. Uh, here comes Dave, and uh, he just, it was innocent, like, yeah, you want to you wanna just maybe help out a little bit? You know, don't, don't, you're not signed up for anything, you know, you just <laughs> come over and help out a little bit. And then I get there, and they're like, all right. 15 hours straight, you guys ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's right? funny. Now, did, we did, did we do That's Encounter? So did we do Encounter before a horror show? That was after. No, it was after. after. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, so then, so then after you, knowing what I have signed you up for, then I approached you to be a creature to film, and you're like, yeah, yeah I'll do that. I was, yeah. like, I was like, okay, so there's, okay, there's, there's like money attached to this. We're going to go on location. Like, okay, this seems legit. And then... Oh, by the way, we need the, you to be the crew. You're in the middle... Yeah. Well, that's, that's we need it. you to pack the when band every when night. somebody looks at me and says... <laughs> After wearing the costume. We don't, know, we don't know how to get all this stuff back in the van. 
You're the only one that's been able to do it. Tetris you gotta game. pack the van. Do and it. I'm sitting there in a, in a full silicone suit, sweating my ass off. Like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Put the, throw the shit in there and we're done. That's it. <laughs> So yeah, it was it was I don't know it was a fun experience, yeah. but it was it was, uh, was eye opening just to right. see how much effort goes into even the smallest little stuff. Uh, if you want quality, you got to show up. You got to bring your A game. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and the reason we did the first two see well the first season at least in those such a short time was because the only studio we had access to was Steve's studio, mm-hmm. and we we figured you know he's already doing it for free essentially, you know. We don't want to do it like over the course of ten days. We want to just get in and out as quickly as possible, and um, and it was. I I really liked the look of the first season. I thought it was beautifully lit. You know, I mean, we mm-hmm. had high quality cameras, all this other stuff. First we, and second, we're both yeah, shot we, there. Yeah, so. we wouldn't have and, had and the third uh, uh, without we third too. That's going. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So so that was a big part of like how we shot the show originally. And now it's morphed into more working out of the house. Mm-hmm. And that's better. actually something that I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I mean, do you guys feel like the evolution of the show has been natural? Has it yes. been natural? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sense, kinda? yeah. Yeah, I think it's been natural. I don't know that it's necessarily been for the better quality-wise, because obviously doing it at Steve's, we had professional lighting, we had the green screen, we had his cameras and shit, but... Honestly, the cameras we're using are probably on par with the cameras we were using at his place well, anyway. Currently, we're filming on a, what, 360 camera? So yes. <laughs> we're he doesn't right have direction. that, that's true. Uh, but no, I, I think it's, you know, we're, we're, it's a learning curve, but it's, it's enabled us to really step up the output. Right. Yeah. You know, and we I, can't, we can't all of us get to Steve's to film shit and work it out with Steve on a regular basis. So and um, we be still able to have a whole day. Well, yeah. Yeah. logistically, we still shoot current. the exact same way. We get mm-hmm. together on Sundays and shoot. 10, mm-hmm. 10 episodes. And that was still kind of the, the turning point for us, I think, when we made it a weekly thing of getting together yeah. to put content together. You know, yeah. that's where the numbers started to rise much more drastically. That's and right. Mm-hmm. We've seen more growth. So. I just remember, her, like, Cecil being like, well, Jaime's coming over every week. I'm like, well, I'm not going to let it be a dick fest. I'm coming over too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to get over there. Yeah, yeah, no. Tuesday, the bro down go. Because that's when Enfuego Tainment was just starting, which has been on hold forever at this point as the channel's taking yeah. more and more precedence here. But you and I would get together to bro out on Tuesdays and we would film an Enfuego Tainment review and then we're like let's start reacting to some trailers and then we started doing more of that and mm-hmm. because we never did trailer reactions between the first two seasons right. like at mm-hmm. all you know and now now look the but there's still some of our best episodes Honestly, best viewed episodes like the Arnold Schwarzenegger um, oh the, yeah <laughs> that was great oh, that was when he was still in Chandler think, yeah. I think yeah. I, that was awesome. I knocked it right out of the park <laughs> you definitely eclipsed it. both of us yes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if you haven't seen it I'm not I'm not gonna do it here I'm gonna let you guys go, know. To, the, go to the I Maggie trailer reaction Andrew what were you gonna say um I was just gonna say after the second uh, the second season, it seems like we kind of fell into a, a groove. We kind of figured things out. We started also moving around to some of the conventions and stuff. You guys might be able to test yeah. us out a little bit. Um, I think I don't know that to me. That's when it started becoming more. You know, I gotta be honest. That was what, part what of the reason of Cecil and I wanted to start the show was like. We don't want to pay to go to Comic Con anymore. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, Especially yeah, as, as yeah, prices yeah. keep the going up. The access right? we've managed to get ourselves <laughs> over the course of this time. I mean, it's really paid, nice. The channel's paid for itself. I think it has really been, has. Yeah. I mean, between all the early movie reviews we've seen, all the conventions and stuff yeah, we've been I mean, able to get press passes oh, yeah. for, and just straight two of, awesome two coverage. Two of my favorite movies came from uh, one festival, I think. Right. Uh, yeah. with the Green Room and Black Coat's Daughter. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. was awesome. People are still posting stuff about Spooky Astronauts just posted a second look video about Black Ghost Daughter. People still post videos about yeah. that. I still haven't good. seen it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's Neither worse? Perkins. Perkins. I haven't seen Perkins. Perkins. Virtual high five. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check. I'm going to get current Weird. stats real quick, but See, I want to check. The can look I don't sides. know <laughs> why, but that fucking twisty at Phoenix Fan Fest It's just like a million and a half the last time it's I watched. It's almost a million and a half. So, so, so we have crazy. over four million views on the channel What's, and like, like almost twisty. half of them are fucking twisty. But that's twisty. fine. But that's okay. Twisty. <laughs> that's okay. What? Twisty's okay. It's fine. Because I have one. Yeah, 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 yeah please. Yeah, yeah. Have okay. Go ahead. Yeah, Susie, please. So, um, as you guys were saying with the show, like it's pretty much paid for itself because of all the access that we have. But one of my absolute... Favorite memories mm. 
is when we were at, uh, we were in Kentucky. Oh, yeah. For Scarefest. Great memory. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're going to set this one out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was a core four. That was a yeah. core four situation. Yeah. Yeah. Core four. Yeah. Anyway. The essential three conditions. Core four. four. Yeah. 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 Essential three. Yeah. Yeah. Essential three. I love it. Core four and essential three. Well, it was supposed it. to be uh, another four, but. It was supposed to be Dirk, a core Dirk four and essential four. But yeah, Dirk, Dirk. Dying on the vine. I'm going to do this too. <laughs> <laughs> or, or if a carry is here in, in place of Dirk. Okay. Who wanted so to come. Yeah. But he had a show with family obligations. Anyway, so obviously, like, that was cool in itself that we got to go yeah. to Kentucky and, you know, try and reach a new brand. Oh, and just fun as hell. Uh, yeah, oh, you know, so what we do, it's great. You know, it's, it's such a wonderful opportunity and we happen to be good at it. But the one thing that was really awesome to me was when Jaime was super excited about George Romero, and he was too afraid to ask him for an interview. Oh, I wasn't afraid. I just knew the likelihood of us getting it was way better <laughs> if I brought a uh, lovely no, lady with me. I was like, me. do you want to do it? And he said, yes. And he's just like, shit and breaks. He's like, are you serious? I'm like, let's go now. Yeah. So I asked him, and he was very sweet, and he was very nice about it. And his handler wasn't there at the moment. And which was wasn't really there. crucial so like, because... let's go. So we went... Um, you know. high five up. Yes. <laughs> no, no, because so, we got turned down the following year, remember, and Mad mm-hmm. Monster, his handler was there, and she's like, nope, nope, sorry. Yeah. Like, so, okay. uh, she shut us down right so away. So <laughs> I had asked him, and he said yes, and I was, and I was like, get the camera now! And, and so, like, we ran back, season. and, you know, he was asking about me wanting to do it. I said, no, like, I'm doing this for you. Like, that, that was just so great to see he's such a huge hardcore fan and even though yes i could have done it it wouldn't have meant any you know you know you know what you did there what the exact same thing that i did when i hooked up the elvira thing okay so this is my so anyway it's it's, it it feels so awesome when that no yeah so it's great it just it makes me so happy it just makes me so happy (laughs) he was able to fulfill like a fantasy and meet a hero of his but not only that, you know, unfortunately, George Romero has passed away. Mm-hmm. But so that's something that's very, you know, not a lot of people have. And Jaime was able to have that and experience that. And yeah. so that just that just makes me very happy that, you know, and we're able I love to. And it's got a very horror yeah, show twist does. to it because we lost half the footage. Oh, okay. Not half. We lost about, about like two minutes of footage. Yeah. The end. Um, yeah. yeah, and that, it's the only time it's ever happened in yeah. our entire history. Well, and, it, and I was watching it happen. Because the battery was dying, and that's why I had to run while he was interviewing and run back to get an extra battery. But yeah, they came back to our, our booth, which was awesome, having the booth at Scarefest. There's yeah. a lot of memories to talk about just there alone. Yeah, mm-hmm. just the But when they came, they're like, keep. he'll do it, but we have to do it right now. And I like jumped to my feet, Your I grabbed eyes got the camera, huge, and you were I was just like, like he's going to do it? Holy <laughs> shit, like, let's go. <gasps> I'm like, this is... The Godfather of Zombies, like it, it, like I was able to impress my brother-in-law Ryan, who is married to my oldest sister Stephanie, loves George Romero, and I told him we just got to interview George Romero for the channel. He's like, "Holy shit, really?" And it's like, "Yeah, that's the kind of reaction I want for our channel, like yeah. we, the, no, the legitimacy so awesome. that we've yeah. managed to get for ourselves just by our due diligence." Yeah. Mm-hmm. That to me, just by showing up and yeah. putting ourselves right. out there. And yeah, and the worst thing they can not say even is just no, showing I mean. up, but being diligent enough to show up every day on time, making sure we're there for the duration. Mm-hmm. Like that shit makes a fucking difference, and it shows a passion and yeah. and a love and just right. just a, just a belonging that a lot of people don't yeah. show all we the time. We also got like almost every single person from um, the American Horror Story oh, that was yeah. present. Yeah. Great show season. Yeah. So that was impressive great too. We got too. some great interviews. Mm-hmm. Um, I think all Erica the way around. Urban. We got uh, uh, Naomi Grossman. Mm-hmm. We got uh, Matt Frazier. Actually, reminding me that now that I've watched those seasons, I need to go back and watch those. Yeah, you should. Yeah. <laughs> now I have like context and. Yeah. Yeah. I would stuff, say yeah. my favorite part about being on the show is going to all the cons. I mean, you know, who doesn't like going to the bigger, like the Phoenix Comic Con? And hopefully soon we'll be making our way over to, to San, San Diego. Diego. Gotta be amazing. However, we're not I, far. We're not far. However, I really, really, really love the smaller cons because <clears throat> you really get that intimate feeling and the, those mm-hmm. huge opportunities to really sit with with the celebrities. And my favorite one is. 
Um, Lou Temple, actually. Okay. Yeah. And Which is the smallest the horror con we've ever done. The, very, the smallest con we ever went to. Like, very everybody much. was. Phoenix Four. Fear Con. Yeah. yeah and so shout out to, to sponsored by Fangoria, but where were they? Yeah. Anyway. Oh, that's right. It was Fangoria Fear Con. Oh, yeah. Because, <laughs> because uh, when we first did Fear Con, you know, and it was out of that the, was Phoenix Fear Con. Yeah. Yeah. Fear yeah. Con was yeah. a struggling con, but, but yeah. we lent we shout lent out to Chris. And Go ahead, Marsha, husband, please. Though. Go ahead. Yeah, so, what made it really, really great was number one, it was my first really big um, celebrity interview was with him. That's true. Yep. And he was super awesome, super super gracious, and we had a great time during it. But also, I mentioned that we were doing a Walking Dead panel, mm -hmm. and he him. showed up. And I had worked so hard to put that panel together mm -hmm. and make sure it was on point. You crushed it. And it was a we all point. crushed it, <laughs> yeah. guys. Like I, I binged great. the show. Remember? And he <laughs> even like was commenting, he came in, he started commenting and making points and kind of gave away a little bit of the secret. But at the same time, it was it was awesome. It was super exciting and very gratifying for me that somebody who, and because he gradu congratulated us on the panel at the end. You, like, well, when you interviewed him, right? Didn't yeah. he say you guys did a better job Af on the panel? Afterwards, oh, yeah. Because yeah, right afterwards? Afterwards? Okay. I told him we were doing the Walking Dead panel and he strolled in and he watched it. And Sat, then afterwards, yeah, front row. he went up to me and he's all like, he goes, you did one of the best panels that I've seen on the show, for the show. And, and, and he does panels so awesome. so all over the world. It was so awesome. fulfilling for me. But the producer yeah, like, is like, why didn't you invite him on stage? And we were interviewing. Yeah, you're right. We should have. We should have. That's just the. That's we not have, personal. You know. That's just. You know, we should have. Well, and that was that yeah. was the con. <laughs> that was the con. We were right next to Tiffany Shepis. Tiffany Shepis was literally right next to us. We never yeah. got the interview with her that we wanted, but because we did she, get. She ducked out real quick. Yeah, she yeah. ducked out real quick, but She's we got name. the. We can't blame her after that's that. That's my weekend. fault, though. We, we talked extensively with her about an interview like all weekend, and yeah. she was like, "Let's do it Sunday," and then we got busy with something else. I think we were busy with a panel. Panels, yeah. 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 Panels. We did a lot of panels. But but yeah, no, yeah, you're right. And then Marcia, the, the other the funny part is still had a little um, taint. Eugene from Eugene Clark. Eugene, I was talking him up like the whole time. We're just chatting and talking about whatever. And but we never got a chance to interview him. And then at Mad Monster, I went to yeah. interview him, and he was a completely dick to me. <laughs> <laughs> we act, the, the interview actually didn't come off terrible. Oh, we were able to I edit don't know. I was stuff, all like, but, but there was some wow. animosity that we had to edit around. Really? And, and he, yeah, he was, was in like, the makeup because you asked him. You asked him your good question that you asked Bill Mosley, and Bill Mosley reacted well to yeah. it, which was I if you read, had to be, I didn't read him very well if you had to be a final girl, who would you be? And so <laughs> she asked like, Eugene Clark. He's like, I wouldn't be no girl. It's like, oh shit, what did we do? Oh no! Uh, oh no! I thought that was a funny uh, question because you it know, was. It is not a funny question. Rain, rainbow is a, another. Reason oh my god! Yes. Let's okay, talk much, about rainbow. Let's, let's give some credit well, to me, rainbow here. Oh, let me let me just say is this. Rainbow coming back was that rainbow point? when I was interviewing you? Him? Was totally that, you were. were. Was yeah. That, he was yeah. insulted by that. Or you were dark rainbow. You were dark yes, rainbow. Yes, that's right. Because it was Mad Monster. Yeah. Seven dark rainbow. Do you have a do you have a new persona? You don't know rainbow. Oh, rainbow. Oh boy. Well, it's funny. I've that is that's that's rainbow. Yeah, that was Marshall, talk, Okay, wait, let's, wait, 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 let's give Marsha the floor to talk about no, wait, 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 Rainbow. Wait, 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 the, the genesis wait. of Rainbow, though. Wait, yeah. Okay, no. so wait, Marsha came on season three, right? Yes. No, okay. well, well, season, no, season two. Was along well, she was, oh, she was, right, a, feature, right. she was yeah, a featured yeah, actress on several skits. Well, she was a well, featured well, actress in season was, one. Yeah. Because she was a featured actress in the first Zed the Zombie Hunter that got trashed, that we lost. And then the Yeah, that was season one. Scream Queen. Scream Queen was the Scream Queen school. That was absolutely. the genesis is that ah! <laughs> <laughs> and uh no no because i named you yeah. yeah, I named you. I was like yeah. Rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> I got. I was so frustrated so was with like, her. That was that was the genuine oh, creation oh, of a okay. character. I'll turn on the. Uh, I'll turn on the AC. I'm turning out. Here, here, I'll do it. I'll do it. I got it. I got it. Because I'm a hongo hongo. You're, oh, yeah, you, got, you got better access. Yeah. Anyway, no Rainbow. Problem. Turn it down a couple degrees. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Marsha, talk about Rainbow. Where did Rainbow come from? What's the evolution? And will we see Rainbow again? Probably. We better. That was the answer. No. Ha! So Rainbow came because of screen screen queen. So. I get a text from, I knew what the whole show was about because both Dave and Cecil were like, this is what we're going to be doing. And I'm like, oh, that looks cool. But I was like, I didn't want to like be like, hey, you know, if 
if you want somebody. But eventually they did ask me, like, we need some girls. Uh, I was yeah. like, oh, oh, believe me, I know a lot about dropping hints about being interested in trying to be a boy. <laughs> 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 oh, no, I told, I told them. I said, I want Marsha on the show. Well, well no, Marsha and I went to college together. <laughs> yeah. We both went to film school together. Right. So that's oh, how that's Marsha really and I met. And okay. then we were roommates. Roommates for like two and, so, two and a half years or something yeah. like that. And, Holy smokes. And then he's like, why don't you come over and play? Yeah. He's like, um, why don't you come over and play Guitar Hero over my friend's house? And I was like, what's that? And we go over there and we're like, I'm buying this game. And you guys are cool. So we all hung out. <laughs> well, no, I, I, met, I met you when I went to yeah. your place when you guys were living together. Yeah. And you guys, there was Half-Life or something being no. played a lot? Well, Kingdom Hearts was Kingdom the thing. No, there was, was a, there was a, there was a first-person shooter that, that you would play with some friends. It might not have been Half Life. Uh, um, is it, it Halo? Ha no, no way. not Halo. Not my house. There was there was one. <laughs> I know house. there was. I know no, there was. Halo in my house. Um, it might have been Resident Evil. I can't Evil. remember which one it was. But, but nonetheless, I spent a lot of time watching Marsha play video games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I can like, I can tell I can tell you the layout of your place literally walking in. Out. Like I can yeah. tell you that. Right. Yeah. And I remember your cats too. <laughs> oh, Eddie the pirate. Eddie, yeah, poor yeah, Eddie. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, that was, well, geez. That was 20 years ago. He's MIA. So. He's MIA. He's MIA, but He's I'm pretty MIA. sure he got eaten by a bulldog, so. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Bull. Oh, right. But, but anyway, so the, the point was that, yeah. like, I had known Marsha through wow. film school, and she had always been this great, like, I always was like, man, if there was ever anything I could include her in, I want to include her in. Mm -hmm. And so, like, when we were, when I was working on that Western that I made with, uh, with Blah Blah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, up, and I had her come out. So it was always, like, Let's participate in each other's art and artistic mm -hmm. endeavors. And so she came out season one, right? You were yep. the zombie. Mm -hmm. You were uh, Rainbow, which, yep. which mm -hmm. we're talking about. And then um, you were in one other... I was... Uh, you did the sketch? series. I series helped you with the, bo oh, the that's boogeyman. Right. Remember? Oh, that's right. Because I was right. seeing the light uh, in the yep. attic. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. So, <laughs> so you were... Wasn't it so, you did a What Would You Really Do? Yeah, I did yeah. that. Yeah. That was in season three. That was season three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was season two. Yeah, it was three. Yeah. But... It was two. But everybody, like, what's part of part of the horror show ethic is, like, everybody fucking jumps in. Yeah. And, you know, like, Marsha came for, like, two sketches at the beginning of the day. She stayed... Just to the end with everybody else and helped crew and all that other stuff. Not only that, but she just came like back Andrew, to reprise the zombie role Andrew's when she like, found out that we had lost the footage for right. the whole fucking That's day. Right. And then we had to do it in like a whole different area, which Steve's came out really cool. Steve's backyard was amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> appropriately <laughs> post apocalyptic. Yeah. Like, I don't know what you're gonna there, find back there. <laughs> no. Ended up ended up being a perfect place yeah. for this fucking short. Like you know the short was great. You know what's interesting is some of our best. Comedy has been that improv, and we've even spawned uh -huh. characters. Oh, yeah. and... oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no, what you should really do are going to make their way into some of the live stream pre rolls that I've been putting together. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, people really are, good, yeah we need really to do more recycling. Comedy. We, need it, yeah. we, do. we do. I miss it. I miss <laughs> it so much. Those yeah, those are, so are those are some of the favorites, but they take so much time. They I still do, like Susie. They're so, so worth it. I know. I still like Susie. But then there's scheduling we have to worry about and making sure people get there. Tough. I can't huh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I still, this week you so did. I still like that was suggestion. That, that wasn't very coming passive back. Oh um, yeah, no, I think that was great bringing back a Zed for, oh, uh, yeah, for like a, stream. a live stream because we've yeah. done Zed in podcast form mm -hmm. along we with can. Peter Steele and Svavo Svein and all yeah, that. Yeah, and Rainbow shit, was on that one too, I think. Yeah, oh, I think we were like right. all Rainbow in different characters. Mike was on a podcast. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah, so we right. talked about right. how you keep just somehow coming back. That's right. <laughs> no. The, yeah. No. We still have plans. The next Zed is going to end with him meeting up with Rainbow. The yeah. next Rainbow is going to end with her meeting up with Zed, and then we're going to do a crossover. Mm -hmm. Like that has always been the plan. It's just I still a think it'd be funny. Like. like Rainbow I've written doing half like, of yours. Like yeah, the a, training one. Yeah, like yeah. assassin training, and she's just like, <laughs> she's just really bad at it, but it's yeah, so and funny. Like, like, like kind honestly, of cartwheels, but yeah. not really. Yeah. And like, she thinks she's kicking people in the face. But the whole thing's done like, 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 a, like a, you know, behind like this. All the skills uh, no, that's that what that it was. It was, um, God, what do you call it? <laughs> things that I can do. I have it written down. It, it, it's literally <laughs> called something. It's not. That's. That's the beauty of Rainbow. Is yeah. She thinks she's really good. But oh, it's she's hashtag really Rainbow Rules. Mm, yes, <laughs> that's, that's what right. it is. Hashtag yeah. Rainbow yeah. Rules, yeah. 
It's so then, would it be hashtag, now, hashtag, like it's hashtag Rainbow Rules? Like, would it be the hashtag? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 it's hashtag. Now, like, hashtag, hashtag Rainbow. Like, spell it out too. Hashtag. Yeah. Double down on that. Shit. No, we wouldn't. Like, like, hashtag. Okay, well that's that's, that's, that's what I was. Hashtag, hashtag. Like, hashtag. The first time we were at Comic Con in Phoenix, like I would dress up like Rainbow Rules, mm-hmm. and I was going around getting people to involved by like hashtag. You had on your shirt That was so good. The thing is, the thing is, I've always wanted to have the earpiece. That I could be like, okay, here's a really stupid line to fucking give. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, like, I've always yeah. wanted to be able to be like, and she's good at awesome. that, yeah. and yeah. as demonstrated so, at the scare She's so yes, great, yeah, that was but because so I would yeah. just be like, say this, and she'd be like, but, ah, what's because your because favorite? Like, oh no, she said it. Right. <laughs> no, she said it. That was the greatest thing. Marsha had never actually gone on the floor to do interviews yet. Yeah. She was so ball Oh my god, they had all these celebrities like come out. It was meant for press to ask questions. Nobody was asking questions. Nobody so was. What does Marsha do? The greatest. What's your favorite sandwich? And it's like, <laughs> yeah. everyone to laugh. It's getting the celebrities to open up. So yeah. then later oh, on, when we man. need to go talk There were literally to some celebrities sandwich? after we've been Still doing it for a while that were like walking through and we didn't have any questions. They'd be like, any questions? Yeah, like no, we don't, we don't know you. Sorry, <laughs> move along. You know. Yeah, no, so <laughs> What's your favorite somersault? What? Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I actually yeah. have to say yeah, that's, that's my, like that's, that's my favorite, favorite Marsha moment. <laughs> well, like, look, is that, okay, look, that's, that's actually a good tornado. round. We should do. We should pick favorite moments <laughs> well, for everyone. Well, else. Yeah, and I was going to say, Marsha moment. Let me just, that's a good one. Let me cap that. Lead into that. Transition to that. Okay. Where I'll say that. There's part of Marsha that is Rainbow, and there's part of Rainbow that is Marsha. Yeah. And so if you enjoy <clears throat> that character, you're almost getting to see a little piece of who Marsha really is. And I think that's what really, mm-hmm. like, has always, like, uh, that's why I think I enjoy the character so much is because I'm like, oh, yeah, Marsha sometimes is really naive about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but also she's very smart and intelligent and, you know, like, all these other th- qualities but like, yeah, that that fucking naivete is yeah. always funny. Mm-hmm. But leading into favorite moments. Ooh. Well, wait, Ooh. let's let's finish the memories real quick. Oh yeah, because memories. we didn't yeah. get yeah. memories from Sorry, you guys. I'm the one you threw it we on. need to get that side, <laughs> and there? then we'll do into favorite moments that we pick for other people. Three. Yeah, the essential yeah. three. So um, honestly, yeah. I want to toss it to the Lou. most. Yeah, Lou, yeah. Lou, Lou yeah. hasn't had much to say this yeah. time. So yeah, and honestly, I was the one who was adamant about getting the essential three. Yeah, and you knew Marsha, right? Well, that was that was what was weird. Like for me, it was like it was bumping into y'all. But not no. before the show. So like, mm-hmm. I knew Marsha because of Rob Zombie, right? Yeah. And they get speak, more... we speak more than that. Like well, some people I mean, haven't been listening the whole time. Well, you know, <laughs> did so you, what... do you guys did, were you shaking Rob Zombie's dick together? Sometimes. What's going on? Sometimes. <laughs> 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 right. Very sure. Sure. Wow. That was like, oh, you're you guys are rehearsing that. Okay. Jesus, uh, what did I stumble into? <laughs> zombie. No, but that was what was so like me doing. So Rob Zombie's Great American Nightmare. Yeah, working at Rob Zombie's Great American Nightmare, then. Meeting Marsha. Mm-hmm. And like for me, it was just something I did. And then later on, getting a job at where I work at, where my buddy hooked me up with. And he's like, oh, there's this guy, Fuego. And he does like a <laughs> Fuego. Pod- he does this podcast called The Horror Show. And, I'm and like, it was Joe who. Yeah, it was my, yeah, uh, yeah. Joe. And I was like, Joe's I was like, The, the Horror Show. I'm like, I, I, I feel like I've heard that before. And I was like, I think I worked with the girl who mentioned it once. <laughs> and then sure enough, yeah, yeah, it was the same thing. And then. Meeting you and I Susie started at talking Bones. ICP and crap like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. First time I met Susie was at Bones. <laughs> Doing makeup for the yeah. oh, gossip yeah. strippers. Yeah. Bones strip club. Yeah. 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 I was like, I was like, oh, yeah. 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 I dropped you off there a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, did. That's I was like, oh, you know Fuego? Could you guys do the horror show? And I just started working with Fuego. <laughs> small world, yeah. small world shit, like, man. Hey, buddy, what's yeah. So, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like, I, you know, that's how it happened. And then, yeah, talking to Fuego. And also, also the channels, right? That was a big part of your introduction to the channel was panels. The first year we did um, panels at Comic Con, you showed up for one of the panels. No, I've never <clears> been to live any of the panels. No. Yeah, I think the no, first you were. were a panel. You were yeah, a, panelist. a panelist last That's year. What? You were but on, not the previous uh, year. You were on American Horror Story panel. Yeah. Oh, was, oh, that, that was oh, last oh, I thought you were saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, what? I thought you were saying, <laughs> I went to, like, Comic Con. Well, like, I went to the That's what I thought I was saying. That's what I thought. I was like, I know, like, that's my first time. I remember you. I remembered you from Jaime's friend, but, like, that was what my first association with the show was. Oh, this guy is, like, 
friend enough to show up for the panels. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, see, okay, so everyone talk moments, and like, you got favorite some memories, yeah. Oh, that was it, because, that think, was, yeah. That, I've, I've always wanted to do panels, and never had an opportunity, and then you guys <laughs> are like, want to do some? And I'm like, yeah. I was nervous as fuck. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I was nervous, like, especially that but first one. But you were so, you like, did so well. I was so high. Well, I mean, and also, I think, also, Marsha, the, the first one we did, you did such a killer job with the American Horror Story panel, and that Thank was the you. first one we did, yeah. and it was a jammed house. Like, yeah. there was people standing in the aisles, I and they had to really kick people out one. because it was against fire code. Yeah, and, that was fun. That and like, yeah. like I said, I was, was getting nervous. I was getting your feet up. There's a lot yeah, of people, I, man. I, I kept looking up, and more and more people were in. I was that, like, that shit, this is like, and, and they kept shit. walking <laughs> in the middle of the panel too. They just kept coming in. That was. We saw we have five panels again this year. We we need to like next week. I'm planning on our podcast being about preparing those panels. I can't wait to get that going. Oh my god, I'm so excited. That's wow. like, that, the, the, this is it panel, and then the when horror goes wrong, that uh, those are going to be so fun. If this is it, ooh, when no, horror no, goes, no, we have no, so no, many no, different, no. all of us have different things we can talk about when horror goes wrong. I'm That's really, so awesome. I'm really excited to talk about the hand job scene in the stand. Okay. I don't know. So anyway, <laughs> you know, when Porter goes off? Oh, wait, let's make sure. Read read David, read, David and Andrew, book, do you guys have, uh, and then Marsha, did we get a memory from you too? We did. Oh. We got a memory from Marsha, right? Well, there's, there's, not to get into it, but yeah. I told you it was going to be an exciting Trash Can Man. Marsha, Trash Can Man. Is this in the book? Right. It's in the book. Let's not, let's, Susie has limited time, so let's talk about that later. Memory, right? Yeah, do you guys have a memory? one? I'm, I'm deferring to you guys because I have one. Well, we just got one blue, yeah, but go ahead. Uh, what was the Game Expo? Game on Expo? Game on Expo? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That was where you got your feet yeah, wet, yeah, bro. That was awesome. Yeah. I got to interview yeah, the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, three different people. I got to interview three of the Overwatch voice actors, actresses, actor, act, actor people. Actors. 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 Um, actors. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Uh, I played the game a lot. Still play the game a lot, but Fortnite has taken over my life. So. Yeah, As it has for many people. Um, right? <laughs> but uh, at the time, it was really cool because you know I, I've, I'm a nerd, so I watch a lot of cartoons, and it's, uh, you know I, voice actors are I don't know a little underappreciated, and it was kind of cool to see uh, their take on it. Um, they one often of the guys, do so much too, man, which is what's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> one of the guys, uh, what's his name? I forgot yeah. his name, but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he does Hermes Conrad. Brandon. He does. Sta- he did Static Shock. Um, <coughs> oh, uh, he was on Mad something TV. Something Levert, yeah. Yeah, the dude on he Jason. Did, he did a uh, 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 Samurai Jack. Yeah, yeah, he did Samurai Jack too. And, and John Stewart oh. on Justice League. So, I don't Fred. know. Wow, voice actors. dropping knowledge. Hell yeah. Wait, that was the guy that did Roadhog. Did that? No, 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 no. I'm just saying. Uh, oh. Samurai Jack. Ba- voice actors. Oh yeah, not yeah. Really appreciated. That guy's done so many iconic mm-hmm. voices, and mm-hmm. nobody even knows his name. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, and, and it's funny, Fuego. Speaking of that exact same Game On Expo, you mm-hmm. interviewed the lady that was the voice of uh, the the robot in Portal, mm-hmm. as well as the Jaegers in Pacific Rim. She yeah. was indeed she did the voice of, voice of of the yeah. gypsy uh, gypsy Avenger in Pacific Rim Uprising. It was yeah. awesome. That's and also and also Marsha <coughs> got another Walking Dead connected opportunity there. Yeah, that came two. On, which is dope. Two, yeah. Yeah, and those are really great interviews. Melissa Hutchinson, at least I, I thought I was. Yeah. And Dave Finoy. Yeah, Telltale they were games, right? awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Lee and uh, Clementine. Yeah, <clears> yeah. <throat> yeah. It was a great opportunity. Um, and then also the guy who it was funny because the guy Mass that Effect. plays yeah. for Mass Effect and we didn't even talk about Mass Effect we talked no. about everything else he yeah. was actually he like like 10 different horror games big and small it was really interesting and then Fuego got to interview 6 different people from the original Mortal Kombat uh, game series 2 yeah. of them still have yet to be released which I tricked my Yaya into buying for me on the Sega <laughs> Genesis when I was like 12. 10 or 11, uh, something like that. Yeah, I, my sorry, parents wouldn't buy it for me. Oh, I, well, have a, know. Oh, dear, yeah. <laughs> I have a special place in my heart for that con because I got to interview Andre Meadows of yeah. uh, Black Nerd Comedy. Well, that, that, was heroes, cool. yeah. that, was that was so dope. awesome. It's a 15-minute interview. He got into it. He's a huge YouTube hero of mine. He's got over half a million subscribers. But um, <laughs> it was just awesome to get him on the channel and talk horror because I know he's into some of that but um, well, it was, was great gonna, I was going to say my 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 memory of the horror show is that honestly in the last year we've seen the community really fucking step up that's and right. be a part of the show Yeah, and that's the thing that I've really fucking latched on to and I've been like 
hey man, there's a lot of fucking horror fans out there, and I personally am not the biggest horror fan. Right. So Cecil knows this. A lot of other people know this. It, Shh, it takes a lot. Safe, Dave. I don't know this. It takes a lot to fucking make me scared. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you can do that, then I respect <clears throat> what you did. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of other stuff that doesn't fucking make the make make the grade. Mm-hmm. So my point is that we've all come together as a community and we've enjoyed this fucking renaissance of horror. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I'm I'm all about celebrating that and, and enjoying that and being a part of that and it makes me happy. I well, think I think the good next step is to do what we were talking about. Go yeah. ahead. What do you got? Well, that actually kind of what I was going to say. It's it's not like a specific memory, but like overall, I think how our show has grown and the experience that we have, and we are making those awesome memories that you know otherwise we probably wouldn't have the same opportunity, like George Romero and you know Marsha with The Walking Dead and every you know Elvira, everything. But I think something that really sets us apart from everyone else. Like, when we were doing the, the channel crawl and everyone's like, what do you do? How do you be successful? I think because we have so much heart in what we're doing and we do have mm-hmm. um, just that want and drive in what we do, and it's not even to, like, make millions of dollars. Like, we just love what we're doing. I think that is really what kind of sets us apart. And then we have these three dipshits over here. I think seeing us grow and, you know, being asked to be uh, the Mad Monster uh, media and being asked to be the Phoenix Comic Con media and then the panels that we did and seeing so many people come in and mm-hmm. uh, the, the one year people. when we when we had um, uh, the great horror debate and people were so... Which is coming back. We're doing it again, yeah. but we didn't Something have any more prizes, time. and we didn't have any more prizes. And nothing else. To do. I think is, is amazing, what? and I think that our presence has really proved mm-hmm. that. And even more so, the, when I went to New York that year, and I had someone recognize me from our show. That's hot. Like years That's, ago, in That's New hot. York. That's in hot. New York. That's, That's hot. so hot right now. No, but I'm I'm saying like. That's and that was just in the very early years too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how, how I remember that. Going? Yeah. Well, I remember. I know I'm producer Dave. I remember <laughs> every instance where people are like, "Oh man, somebody came up to me man, and was me like, too. hey, man, I watch yeah. you on YouTube.' Yeah. yeah to me, that like, I was in the spirit you know, store one year and somebody walked up to me and I was just like, "Oh fuck, okay." Mm-hmm. I, yeah, no, it's great. Like, I love you guys. Unfortunately, I do have to piece out, but that oh. that is something. Um. Like I said, we I think we all have a lot of heart, and it's not just we're doing a show. We do a variety show because we are so passionate, and we, you know, in doing different things. And you don't, and I always tell people, you don't have to be a huge horror fan to like the show. Like, just being a part of the show, like the podcasts and the mm-hmm. comedy sketches and the celebrity interviews. The live streams. Everything. The live yeah. streams, everything. It's something for everyone. Mm-hmm. Well, real real quick before you go, um, do you have a, a memory, like a moment of each of us that you could point to real quick? Like that's what I was gonna do next, where we go through and talk about moments. That's a lot. I know. I think she's uh, already said said mine, so that goes without saying. Yeah, for you, uh, that was George Romero. Uh, Marsha, no, just that uh, I was so afraid for her at uh, Scarefest, you know, because she had no, no, like she didn't have that experience. But man, when she, she just started busting out with questions, making everyone laugh, and she was so comfortable. That was my my greatest memory. I'm so happy for you, and you just did it like effortlessly effortlessly and you created this character that rainbow of rainbow that everyone loves and that's so awesome and cecil dear lord man <laughs> like you and i we've gotten into it before but you are my <laughs> best you are my bestest friend even though you can drive me up the fucking wall and i know i do the same for you but you let me just tell you guys something there is time like i had to have surgery and I had my gallbladder removed. I wake up in the hospital to this motherfucker there, <laughs> just in my hospital room, and I'm just like, what the hell? Like, how long was it out? And he, I think he said, like, a few hours. Like, why didn't you wake me up? He's like, you were sleeping. And Sometimes he's too good a person. It's just, oh. like, for someone... <laughs> Sometimes. To do that. <laughs> just, moment, yeah. but it was there. really great, and he's an amazing person, and I'm so glad that I'm able to do something... That I love and that he loves, like just be a part of that. And I love everything about this show. And you know, despite my absences and things going on, this is my 
favorite thing and oh. I will always even make money or not it doesn't matter to me because I have fun with we you will, yeah, I will we definitely will. cheers to that so. we will. Cheers. Yeah. cheers 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 yeah. Yeah. that was beautiful yeah. Yeah. Pass your microphone over to David, so or to so they can uh, Andrew and Lou can have their own mics there. There you are, ladies. To piggyback what she was saying. So ahead, please, Marsha. Hopefully this chair won't break on me as I move on. I would. That's an inside reference. I was super. Hey, my ass can fit there. You're good. Yeah. I was super excited when Cecil texted and said that. Phoenix Comic Con asked us to do two panels. That is huge. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, we've been talking well, about doing that since we first started doing panels. Like, well, wouldn't it be really cool if we were actually asked to do panels and we're there? And if we kick ass, we can be like, sure, I'll do it for money. <laughs> Honestly, that was that was the biggest thing that, like, when that fucking hit us, and they're like, hey, you want to do some panels? That's huge. I was like, "Holy shit, we, we fucking made it!" Yeah, that's well, they dope. asked us. They they asked us a few times this time because I didn't yeah. even respond to the first email. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were so burned out. We were so burned out. Yeah, we did. We did eight yeah. last year, that's and we didn't did. get anything <laughs> other than a form email saying thanks for your participation. It's like. How was we have so you? much more than just the normal participation? You guys couldn't have specifically sent like a "Hey, thanks for everything you did" kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, so I was a little well, bitter I mean, about that. So, yeah, so instead of better. doing it's eight, me. we're only doing fucking five. So like, still, it's, it was, it's still a lot of shit we're doing for the for the. But the, but, the know, point is that we could have done twenty. Right. True. Like asked, if we would have said, yeah. "Hey, we we'll do twenty panels." And all like, of us, all of yeah, us except bring it for up. Lou mm-hmm. and Dirk, I think are getting full event Bye, passes. Bye, Susie. They, they require you we to be part you, of Susie. two panels or more to get full event passes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll see if I can slide you in on some others, but uh, yeah, but no, it's let me so know. exciting though the the fact that you know just to be asked is such a huge thing yeah. because they trust in us. And la- last year when we were doing the Walking Dead panel, which it, I gotta be honest. All of our panels have been successful. Yeah, yeah. they showed up with boxes of stuff for us to give out, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. which was cool. That was uh, Jason who did that. I didn't even know. Like they came up with a box of bobs, like little tiny bobs. I didn't even know what it was. I didn't even look at it. I just started giving it. His to leg came off too. Remember? Yeah, I, I, I have. One somehow I think I won it. I, I still know. have the, uh, um, the other one. It was also Abraham. Abraham. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we Abraham won that, right? Yeah. yeah, we yeah, answered we the won questions. That. We didn't steal. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, it was it was cool because I was like, oh, they trust us enough that, and that they're gonna come in and bring us stuff that we can give back to the fans and draw those people back into our show and get that get that commitment and spread our brand and that's huge. I'll mm-hmm. actually never forget last year when uh, was it uh, rotting flesh. Dudes from uh, yeah. and, and also his his lady who does the uh, nerdful things when they came and they they presented these yeah. these glasses to us. It's huge. You know, I, I don't even know if it's it's visible in the camera, but cheers. Yeah, etched in with the there you go. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. cheers. <laughs> etched in with the with the horror show logo and everything. Yeah, and really, really right, like awesome that's a super big so. yeah. The fact the that glass. the fact that we've inspired and and <clears throat> for somebody to say, hey, you know what? This is what we're doing, and we like what you're doing, and we think that you not only are we want to honor you by making you guys glasses, but we think by doing that, it's going to help us too. Like that's huge. Yeah, yeah. So, so obviously, shout out to them. Yeah. You know, yep. I mean, for nerdful things. For people to think that they're going to make money off of us, that's great. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we part of that. Like, let's be honest. Part of the reason awesome. at twenty thousand subscribers, we can start to reapproach uh, people for. Sponsorships and stuff. Well, let's like be honest. Part of the reason Cecil and I really wanted to do this channel, oh boy, was because <laughs> of the hard horror artists. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, the ability to yeah. spotlight all of these independent horror artists that otherwise get no it's still traction. Still a huge part of our show. Um, yeah. So, okay, guys. Now that Susie's gone, we'll go ahead and jump into the. Uh, you My know, drink is moments. suddenly larger. Suddenly, yeah. interesting, all right, a little different. Oh. Mine is lower. Mine yeah. is about the same. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so um, I'll start with my memories of everyone. How's that? That sure. should yeah. ease everyone in, give them a chance to think. So my favorite, <clears throat> my favorite memories of certain people are going to be easy because my favorite memories of this show are times in which I've or times in which the show has enabled various people working on the show to achieve certain goals and or dreams that they maybe 
would not have considered such things uh, outside of this. So for Susie, it was definitely uh, the moment when we got to have Elvira on the channel. Uh, that was at our first Mad Monster. Elvira was there, Cassandra. And um, Cassandra. I told Susie, you know, let's go get in line to see if she'd be willing to do like a station ID or anything for us. And Susie was like, I don't know, I don't think we should wait in line and stuff, because there was a, a, you know, a not unsubstantial line. But we waited in line, and then, um, you know, her handler was there, and I was like, we're, you know, she was charging 10 bucks for a picture with her, and I was like, what would she charge for a little station ID for us? And she's like, the handler was like, eh, throw her an extra 10 bucks for a beer or something, and she'll probably do it. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And so... We, uh, we walked up and we threw, you know, an extra 10 bucks and she leaned over and she was like, they threw you an extra 10 bucks so you can get a nice beer later. And she's like, oh, and she like was like, hi guys, how's it going? And we're like, we're from the horror show. And she talked to Susie for a second and she actually, one of the things I asked Susie when we were in line, I was like, what would you do if she was like, I like your makeup? She's like, oh my god, I'd die. Just die. And luckily, before the end of the thing, she was like, I really like your makeup yeah. to Susie. And so, uh, you know, my favorite memory of Susie on the channel was her getting to meet sort of her idol. Mm -hmm. And uh, not only that, but be able to, to sort of <coughs> do a station ID and talk to her and take a picture with her. Mm -hmm. um, that was a really awesome moment for me to be able to see that same with Fuego and his ability to interview not only George Romero, but Reggie Bannister from yeah. Phantasm. That was pretty much as big for me with how much I love that series. Man. Right, exactly. Huge, and then I got dissed by the director. Yeah. I, I love Coscarelli, know. but yeah, he dissed led, he, Well, he kind of led me on a little bit. He was like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll do an interview. And then I was like, and he's like, oh, it's a, it's a video interview? And we were... And then when I came back and asked for an audio, and then he's like, no, no, I, I, I'm okay, but I'll answer some questions. And I'm just like, really, dude? I mean, between the Phantasm series and Bubba Hotep and yeah. Beastmaster and Survival Game and so much shit. Yeah, I was disappointed about that one. But Reggie made up for it, and me and Reggie vibed, mm -hmm. which is what was cool, especially about it. We, we talked music. <laughs> so, so, yeah, having Fuego be able to interview George Romero and Reggie Bannister, that, to me, seeing... Again, I've always been a guy... If I'm with a girl, like, I am just as happy making sure she's happy as I am being happy myself kind of thing. It's the same thing with, uh, in, in a non-sexual way, <laughs> same thing with my people on the show. If, if they can, if they can do things that they would otherwise not have been able to do as a result of the show, then I am happy about that. So, Marsha's... I think my, uh, I think that, you know, I don't know. With Marsha, it could be. It hasn't happened yet. I mean, yeah, <laughs> like, that's the thing. That means it's forthcoming. I think, Four years. I think maybe, like, if there, if I had been able to pull something off with Tim Curry, that would be really great. But, um, but Marsha, I mean. Or, um, uh, yeah, Dean Martin. Yeah, well, you, right. you, you've been able to do some, some cool Martin. stuff, and, you know, you, you. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess Jeffrey Dean Morgan is his name. I have not had any drinks tonight. No, I'm, I'm still, wow. I'm still like I'm waiting um, for him to come to Phoenix. <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel. I guess there is still a moment with Marsha that I'm waiting for. But, um, but, but as of right now, I think anytime Marsha dons the rainbow personality when she's happy and confident enough to do so, that she's like willing to. Like, I think it's it's awesome and. Rainbow is a very distinct personality on the channel that that meshes and yet contends with the theme of the channel at the same time. It's it's like this bright and bubbly unicorn loving personality that loves dark shit, which is why when Dark Rainbow came about, that was a really cool transition too, but but just Rainbow in general, I have absolutely loved any time Rainbow has made an appearance. So that would be mine for Marsha. Uh, my favorite moment with Andrew is, again, the same thing, being able to see him really come out of his shell to interview the three people from Overwatch. I thought that was great. And, and we still have people, because I, I only aired the most recent one within the last three weeks. 
And we still have people going like, Andrew did a really great job. He should do more interviews and stuff like that. So uh, next game on Expo, <laughs> man, we're planning to go back. So you, we, we need to figure out who you want to interview. I want to get you on in front of the camera more. Um, so that's good. With Lou, honestly, with Lou, I, I think my favorite memories with Lou are the times that he's able to make it out to do the reviews and he's able to contribute his clown laugh. Because <laughs> his fucking his laugh is infectious. People love his clown laugh, and it's perfect for the channel. But but it Lou just is sort of horror show feng shui. You know what I mean? He fits in with the yeah. channel, and it sort of makes it. Uh, it doesn't harm it. It doesn't bring it down. It only sort of enriches it when you're here. Yeah. So so I, I, I appreciate that. That doesn't always happen with contributors to the channel. So um, I, I do around, appreciate that. They're not part of the that. Central Three. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're not, not part of the... Say, yeah. Now we're three. So yeah, yeah, exactly. We're, we're the core three and the essential three now. <laughs> and so the core four and the essential four. But um, And then producer Dave, um, if I had to pinpoint a time with producer Dave, well... Honestly, I would pinpoint two different things about Producer Dave. You guys don't know, but Producer Dave has had a lot of behind-the-scenes editing contributions to the channel. Yeah, he yeah. has. Um, so there's a lot of that, but but seeing Producer Dave really specifically rise to the challenge during Bracer, mm -hmm. or I mean, during Sweet, rather. <laughs> um, I know, I'm getting ahead of myself <laughs> he with just Bracer. Like, Wait He'll rise to the challenge I during Bracer as well. I yes. told about going to the set for Bracer, <laughs> he but the fuckers... <laughs> Yeah, we did was Bracer. I did I not out? tell you about was that? It's I actually in the out? can already. Yeah, it's in the can. It's going to come out next week. God Sorry, Marsha. <laughs> um, no, but but for Sweet, Dave did a whole bunch of shit, including making sure the film looked like a film should because every shot was moving that uh, that I allowed to be moving. And, uh, and, and, and Andrew joined in on that as well. Marsha, everyone... Here, except for Lou, <laughs> played a part Aww. on Sweet, but he it's not an it's not an exclusionary that's yeah, that's thing. Before, right? Exactly, that was yeah. before Lou's you tenure. You would totally been there. You would be there next time. Okay. You could, you could, you could play an American vampire, or but not yeah, maybe yeah. not an American vampire. You play <laughs> no, a European no, you would vampire. Play a Euro that, that fought with us and got killed. Or yeah, exactly. <laughs> we we make you a Euro South vamp. The, South American vampire. Well, whatever whatever non American <laughs> accent you can do, we can lean into that. No, so practice on one. A Spaniard, yeah. Hello, my name. Is Luis Hernandez? You killed my father. Prepare to die. Well, he'd be hiding, and then you say a funny joke, and you just hear that awesome laugh. There you go. Yep. See, there it is. Because he was holding the document. We should just make our own fucking horror Joker thing, and just have you do the voice of it. Honestly, fantastic. That'd be fun. Lou is the best. I loved. You were like probably my favorite part of working on that haunted house for sure. We'll talk about that a little bit. You guys, we we. I don't know that we ever actually got that much into it maybe we on a podcast a we mentioned yeah, well, no yeah, talk about never, it together so we never really worked like because you were like in the, the front yeah door. i was in the front of the house she entered like when people were coming in they were like mm -hmm. being entertaining like, like salem's lot so yeah. i was in the front of the house telling everybody to go fuck themselves <laughs> i was the gatekeeper and i was the, the <laughs> who was the key master <laughs> <laughs> well i also had the key yeah. Oh, so, okay. so, wow. So you were both. I was everything. The same. Yeah. But anyway, Brippley, no, it was cool. fun because, like, you know, I, my favorite thing to do was to kick people out who just spent fifty dollars on getting in, and they could get back in, yeah. and I just kicked them out. So. <laughs> <laughs> Power so, tripping. No, that's kind of fun when you kick someone. But out. we would have like the br our breaks around the same time, so mm. we would meet out like outside. You'd be smoking, I'd be drinking a gallon of water, and we'd just be hanging out. And um, it was fun because we would just talk, swap stories. Yeah. Cause, you were in the clown house, which is where I was supposed to be the gatekeeper in front of the ca uh, the the clown house, but they moved me because mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> You're but, disappointed yeah. by that. You want to be at the, cl the clown stuff was fun. Yeah. I remember the first when I first did the dress rehearsal and they dressed me up in something that wasn't a clown. I was like, I told myself like, fuck, I guess I'm not doing this then. Yeah. And then, <laughs> then I brought it up. I was like, should I say something? And I told them. I was like, hey, I think I'm supposed to be a clown. They're like, oh, okay. I yeah, like, thank God. <laughs> yeah, you anything else than clown would have been a mistake. Yeah, it would yeah. have been like a guy with a chainsaw. He fires it up and then you say, <laughs> ah, like, 
Just well, like, also, wow. you're drowning out your own like, like, like vibes. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I didn't have to really work with anyone else. Yeah. Like, everyone else was. It was like every room had like three clowns. So they're all just imagine overdoing each other. And in me, a room, and all of a sudden you hear his laugh, and you're like, "Oh fuck!" Well, <laughs> I, I remember the first time we did our walkthrough. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I forgot his name, but the guy who was like in charge of all the actors, he was going through. We're getting, Chris. Yeah, we we're getting ready for everyone to come in, and like I was hiding. And he comes in with Cece, yeah. and he's looking around. He's like, dude, where the fuck is this guy? Like, is he how, having a cigarette? What the fuck? And then I jumped out and did something. He's like, shit! <laughs> 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 like, I was just like waiting for the moment. he laughed at him like that. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, all right, that's good. He's like, good. Because, uh, yeah, he thought I, like, dipped off to do something yeah. else. And he's like, fucking pissed. <laughs> 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 he's like, what the fuck is this guy at? And I'm like, bet. <laughs> all right, so. Fuego, awesome. why don't you go next? I've been racking my brain. This mm-hmm. is... This is tough. It's so hard. You're you're the toughest one for me to pinpoint some hell. I know. I don't seem like I do a lot on the channel. No, no, no. no, no, Because there's there's, there's, there's so many, so many memories. Yeah, them low hanging Um, balls. I mean, I I started with with Marsha, and that's how we got on this tinge anyway. Was because just how hard she made me laugh, and I was supposed to be doing regular questions with other people when we were covering that red carpet, Mm -hmm. and I couldn't stop laughing at the shit she because we both had microphones <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right yeah and I was trying my damnedest to keep it together and I was not doing very well especially when the phantasm people started walking over and I'm just like okay I gotta, I gotta be serious now because I'm like kind of funny but like I try to be a little well because you were positioned at the end of the round I was at the end she was she was towards the beginning yeah. she was the, but that's what makes, made it such a glorious contrast yeah. especially because there's there's a lot of other like small and even medium-sized media outlets there, and mm-hmm. they weren't asking questions. Mm-hmm. No. It was like, did anyone do their research? Does mm-hmm. anybody know who these people are? Does anybody care? You know, even if you I don't know who they are. they were to, to do well, that. And... Well, are they just print people who just, uh, I mean, they have no, they no ability to talk face-to-face yeah. with somebody? Well, and we might so have been like... a little ahead of the curve with questions like, what's your favorite sandwich? Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. That's yeah. the vicious <laughs> stuff right that there. there. Yeah. That sets the benchmark pretty, pretty high. It's not so what you, they're used like to, for ice, sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's not what they're used to. Like, that's the thing. Some of them reacted so well. But most of them reacted like, what the fuck? They were perplexed. <laughs> they, 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 they were really, really were. Like, at first they were like, uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be serious or not, and I'm yeah. kind of offended. But then by by the end of it, they were walking up to us, like, <clears throat> asking us to, to ask them, like, silly questions. Like and, Reed yeah. Masterson and yeah. the magic people um, that, like, yeah, gave yeah. you shit and was like, yeah. annoying girls night. asking questions. And it's like, oh, shit. You're and just then... mad because I didn't ask you any. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, refer yeah. to the Scarefest red carpet episode if you guys haven't watched oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. please but do. But hi, mate, great. continue. Yeah, so I guess I'll go. I'll, I'll go around go to Lou because I because I do have something specific with Lou. Oh, right. Um, really? I, I had a lot of fun with uh, the first review that we did, which I think <laughs> That's was what I was going to say. Which I think was you, knock man. knock. But I have another one for you. So I'll I'll, I'll, I'll no, leave I did knock knock with you. No, we yeah, did the first one. Which was one a, did we do? It was oh, it was the 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 when we were seeing the anthology. Yeah, was it Valley Art? What the hell was the name of that movie? Like Crossroads or Southbound. Southbound. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's right. That was your first one because that was the first time. I just did it without. You just did it without telling me. I was like, it was like, oh, yeah, that's what we just did. And I was like, it's Louis. Suddenly we have someone I've never met on my channel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But Don't worry, I vouch for and, you. And, and, and thankfully, Marsha vouched for you. Yeah, and then Marsha, that's, that's true. Good. You did. You legitimately like, but, oh, I know him. He was, I was like, yeah. oh, okay. But that's actually <laughs> the one that I'm going to hold off on, and, you know, if, if you want that. Because I, I had another one in mind. Uh, when we did the creature panel, and uh, it was one of the last <laughs> panels we did that night, and I think that uh, there was a slight tipsiness, which was funny. And you let no. a few, you let a few R-rated bits slip. I think uh-huh. it was something about like a, a, a baby fucking uh, like, oh, like oh, child feast? to yeah. feast. It was like these two or something, and it just you were making me laugh so hard that <laughs> just you were so just off kilter and did not give a fuck about the stuff you were saying. <laughs> oh, so it was, it, it was stop playing your game, Dave. Uh, it was very funny. <laughs> I thought he was sleeping. I, I was like, he must know his run. I thought he was getting him under the table. I did too. I was all like, like oh, put your phone down. Is he okay? Put like, your phone right. down. <laughs> Playing a game during the fucking four year yeah. anniversary. Oh. Yeah. I was actually responding to a Tinder. Oh! oh. oh yeah! Good Did she swipe right, right? Ow. I swipe back right up. up all of them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's called like casting the line. I like it. Yeah. Cast the I line, right? forgive I've never, for that. I've that, never been on that. Is allowed. That, yeah. is allowed. that is allowed. That is allowed. That's allowed. That's allowed. All allowed. Yeah, all allowed. He deserves it. Exactly. No. All right, so all well, and I mean, go ahead, fight you. Well, well, and I mean also just the fact that Lou and I bonded over horror before I was yeah. able to actually, you know, get him to be a part of the show, and I was happy that just damn, <laughs> yeah, I, really. I was sorry. Honestly, did I distract no, you? No, it yeah, was. Yeah, I did. It was really just kind of in, encouraging validation that I was like, this dude is super cool, and I think he would gel well with us, <laughs> and you know, so yeah, that was awesome to have you a part of it whenever you can be. Thank man. you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, Mercer, the my favorite memory will still be before I met him, and that was just the... the, the <laughs> my favorite memory is when I didn't know you. <laughs> it's pretty no, good. No, no, no. That is have, pretty good. <laughs> just the, the, the recurring death in the in the Zed sequence was something Oh, and, okay. And I still think Zeddy Hill is possibly my favorite of all the sketches, even though that was just you and Dave just running back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> it showed up in one of the, the uh, pre-rolls, pre yeah. pre and I laughed so hard, and that's something that I have to say, that now that we have this community that Dave was talking about, so many of them know us just as a reaction and review channel. Mm -hmm. They've never gone back that far and watched any of that shit, so we I need think to that's do more a that. really, really wise we idea get to those. incorporate those into... No, it's a, it's a great idea to do that you know, as as the pre roll thing because of the fact that people who have never seen that shit, yeah, they'll, they'll get exposed to it and hopefully. You All right, know, so I'm you, gonna write the next Rainbow Rules. When our, so one of one of our the original sword? comedy sketches okay. has two hundred views, yeah. and gonna we're getting add gonna add to it. Okay. Okay. Views All right. If you're right down, right. I'm down. I've got yeah. I've got the first page and a half written already. <laughs> Go back. All right, so saying. stay Go tuned back. for hashtag Rainbow Rules. We're that should be the first one back. That's gonna get us back in the groove of the comedy sketches. Hashtag Rainbow Rules. Two. Three years in the making at this point. We've been talking about yeah. hashtag we Rainbow have. for so we long. Have. We've even had it on shirts and stuff we without did. having made the short yet. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, still have, I think I still, yeah. I think I still have that tank top where I like because where I comment on it. You should be able to fit. Have you have you been wearing your upside down shirt at all? No. What if you yeah. tried putting it on upside down? <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, but Continue I just breaks. yeah yeah, and to just just follow up. I mean. Honestly, some of my favorite like moments with my co-people here and my teammates are the ones that, and teammates, this actually hey kind of ties in with, with me and Mercer, is the fact that we have bonded talking things other than horror. Oh, yeah. You know, sports specifically wrestling. and wrestling and shit like mm -hmm. that. I mean, you know, interests yeah. aside from horror are where, you know, him and I have become friends and, you know, just uh, just, yeah. just bonded beyond that. We can, so. talk, uh, we can talk sports. We can talk... Um... I don't know. It's sports just, go sports. We really have music. just a general interest. Yeah, music or yeah, something. That yeah, we do metal from time interest, to time. So. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And uh, I think you're Basic a fan football. of Rick and Morty, which everybody, a little bit. everybody a little bit. that's a fan of Rick and Morty is cool. He's in my the <coughs> Basic football. <laughs> he likes it. If I put it on, he'd watch it. Oh. He always I, I watched it in an episode. I love that shit. I love it. It's so Season good. four. It's the best. Uh, uh, year. Season four, is it even confirmed A yet? year. Yeah. No, they haven't even confirmed. They, they haven't even ordered a season yet. Yeah. It's right. a, that was the one thing that created. They haven't ordered season. a season yeah. four yet, Andrew. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I hate right. to right. tell you. It'll it'll be, be, they have, no, it's I not. Mean, it'll, it'll, no, quite, it's not. I'm, I'm ready. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> honestly, producer Dave, uh, once again, it's. I, I love the Zed character so much and I want to see more of him because that's much like Rainbow with you where... I see. Just get a chance to cut loose. Where, where yeah, Dave, Dave cuts loose and he makes it so funny and he's so hilariously off the cuff with. I I know a lot of the dialogue is. I could literally right? go I get mean, Zed in the other room right now. <laughs> like it's so how so great, funny how, how easy great could would do that it. be. Mm -hmm. So so awesome. But I mean, I I'm trying to give more more of like a personal slant to this too. And there was something uh, when I was that you know driving Dave back to his house after he was hanging with us a few months ago. He was editing some footage from the most recent. Uh, I, I think it was Mad Monster last year and putting stuff and he just had some really nice and encouraging humbling words for me where where he was like I've you know you're you're becoming better at, at interviewing and I see you not stepping on people as much as you did in the early years and you, you still got some work to do because you have to you have to stay focused and you don't want to get get too, too ahead of yourself but I mean it was just those just behind the scenes discussions of just you know how to approach these type of things and you know just the progression of the channel and stuff that's what that was the, that, that's a moment that I thought back to specifically right now that really yeah, it was it's a good really, memory really so nice was, of you man that's well that was a big yeah. part of the progressive progress progress progr progression progressive progression <laughs> of the show I like that was that too. everybody 
Everybody was growing with the show. Everybody. Yeah. Definitely not just me. I mean, all of us. That was a big part of it. That, that, that was a big part of it that I enjoyed. Cool. So who's uh, next? Cecil. Yeah, yeah me, me, me oh, talking about right. you. Well, yeah, which is I don't want to, you know, if you don't have any, you know. No, no, I have too many. Nothing. I have too many. <laughs> which is, I have Come on, many. you guys have a problem. problem. Get real. <laughs> Romance! Oh, well, yeah. the news with booze alone, yeah. News with booze alone, um, you know, obviously when you and I started getting together as, as buddies and, you know, doing stuff on Tuesdays, buddies. which we did for a long time before even Marsha, you know, started, started coming along. And, <laughs> and you Good were job, you were cool enough. And I've, I've obviously put in Fuego Tainment to, to the side for a while now, but you were cool enough of a friend, and we were just getting to know each other in a lot of ways at that mm-hmm. time, you know, mm-hmm. just to just to give me your support and your time, you of know, course. and in exchange for, you know, just the, the efforts that I was, you know, helping out with too and stuff, and it was... It was just very, very cool and, and humbling that we had that, that back and forth. And then another one I have to mention, I mean, man, staying up late, talking relationship shit and Scarefest. It's Scarefest. Uh, Dude, was, I remember that too. That was a night that, uh, yeah. Marsha and Susie had passed of, out, but <clears throat> you and I had some talking to do. We, 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 we talked we for really probably did. like an hour, hour and a half, yeah, like late the into best, the night. Those are the best when you just chill with your boy. Dude, yeah, that, yeah, that shit. Well, like, I haven't done that in a long time. I haven't, probably haven't done it really in a long time since. I, although no, I, Dave yeah. Dave living around here has really helped me get through some shit in the last month. But but that that was that was awesome. Because I was getting over something at that time, too. Yeah, we that were, was when we I was getting similar, over the last thing. We were in similar boats. <laughs> but, but you, yeah, man. That, That's that, right. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. It was another... But you and Susie were asleep in yeah. your bed, and then yeah. I was too yeah. big yeah. to share yeah. the bed. And I so Fuego had out. taken up the trundle that That's night. That's not true. Yeah. It's but not we, because you were too big. It's because two dudes sleeping in one bed. Two bits. You know, well, there's that too. And but but Fuego like that. took the trundle because I was okay. a little too but big two for the trundle sometimes. But yeah. but it's nonetheless, okay. it, it was it was it was. It's I agree. Memory. That is a memorable moment in our zeitgeist, yeah. as it were, because yeah. like it, it was like we we talked <clears> about some shit and we ended up having like a lot more similar feelings about the opposite sex mm-hmm. and dealing with it than, yeah. than we had anticipated. Mm-hmm. Um, because honestly, you know, to be quite upfront with everyone, I hadn't really delved into the relationship atmosphere until I'm 30. Mm-hmm. You know, my whole 20s, I was just not dating a lot of people. I, I, well, I was dating some people. I didn't have any long-term <laughs> relationships or anything. So and in contrast, it was weird. I was just with one person for like right. over a decade. I guess it was like you know, full so. opposite, opposites. It kind of was. That's what made for good conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then and, also, but, but that's the thing. He could. He had a perspective I didn't have, and I had a perspective yeah, on him yeah. that he didn't have. You know, nice. so like yeah. we helped each other that way. Like that was a really interesting time. Yeah, that's pretty well, good. Jaime, Jaime, just from producer Dave's perspective. Jaime what really the hell was that? Sorry, Jaime, Jaime. It like a kaiju coming up the table. It's a muffled, muffled burp is what that is. No, no, right. Not so much muffled, but okay. Jaime, when, when Jaime came aboard, it felt very natural. Mm-hmm. It didn't feel like we were adding someone. It felt like... It was an this, extension. Yeah, it was this person was part of the right. show from the beginning. Should have been. So that's... Definitely. It was it was yeah. in terms of eighties horror films. It was mm-hmm. the Blob assimilating just another fucking person that was perfect for the Blob. Yeah. Well, and that's where since I didn't get to give a favorite Susie moment before she left, my favorite Susie moment was when she brought me over for the podcast mm. after we had uh, a meeting for Heavy Metal Television. May you rest. That was that's what podcast that was a, number. That was the uh, boy. I wish I knew. It's got like number five or six or something. It was mm-hmm. definitely early on. It was after the first season. Again, we're here celebrating I... the four year four anniversary. Years. So Fuego, four years. Fuego was essentially <laughs> podcast number five or six or it was, something it was like, like that. Like getting to know me, basically, yeah. Yeah. and uh, talking, you know, the, the heavy metal horror crossover crap. Yeah. Right you know what? I should go back and listen to that sometime. That's <clears> that's <throat> something I'm excited to do history. going forward. We have we, history. That, I do yeah. have plans. No, I have plans for all of us to sit down and react to our comedy sketches mm-hmm. and the sweet mm-hmm. like sit down and <laughs> like do a, like a look back yeah like exactly uh-huh. like we're watching we'll be in the corner while this shit's playing <laughs> because a lot of people enough. haven't <laughs> seen it on the channel a lot of our new viewers mm-hmm. we're at 19,000 subscribers now like in over 4 million views man we're about to, we're going to cross 20 
Like by the end of the year, hey, and we'll, we'll be, be at, we'll 20, be at 25. twenty five. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be at let's, twenty before Comic Con. Twenty five by the end of the year. Let's that's my goal. When we that's cross a, that 20. is a lot. That is a lot. Yeah. Dave is gonna fucking do something. Oh yeah, when we cross twenty, <laughs> Dave is actually going we'll to shotgun. No, no, no. He's gonna <laughs> shotgun all <laughs> of the I remaining. He's gonna sh- no, he's shotgunning all of the remaining the boozle beans. Anything that's Martian. You, you know, I would do anything. He's I would. Do anything <laughs> for the whole show. <laughs> Viewers. I do anything. <laughs> what? Blink oh. 82. Oh, that, 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 that wasn't even that. that. That was like simple playing. It's some horrible <laughs> shit like oh, that. Oh, man. Pop that doesn't pop up. Uh, we were going to do, I was going to eat Better every than single one of the, like Marcia the said. nasty, uh, nasty jelly beans. 45, some 41. I was going to eat all of the nasty jelly beans, oh, or I was no, just going to taste, or someone was going to slap me really hard. Why do you have to do something gross? Do something fun. Because that would be fun. Fun. Take, For the viewers, that would be fun. Take take Negan's bat and start smashing some shit and but make I it like. Do that. Do that. So oh, but I won't do that. But I won't do that. All right, so let's move along. Oh, yeah. Marsha, you said you were ready. Yeah, let's I'm get ready, with yours. Okay. Go Twenty-five thousand subscribers. I'll shape. I'm gonna go opposite. <laughs> you guys are thinking. I hope in the meantime. Oh, okay. I'm going opposite direction of Jaime. I'm gonna start with Cecil. Okay. Okay. So me and Cecil have known each other for thirty years. Um, it feels, like it. feels like it. We know feels too like much. Like, we know too much about each other. But one of those rare occurrences where male and female can maintain themselves as friends forever. and not like ever have to worry about Marcia's anything kind of weird like or anything. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, that's true. Marsha's always been just hidden, awesome. Like no, she hates a hidden uh, dick. Hidden oh, one. good to know. She actually hates. Marsha's got a hidden <laughs> dick. I think she was that's saying she's got a hidden dick. That's why he loves me so much. Hey, pull back the curtain. No, seriously, seriously. Okay, so please, this go is ahead. this is something that um, not a lot of people got to witness. It was actually me and uh, Cecil, and then our um, sponsors, which happened to be Bob and Marsha Hall. Yes. Um, Amazing people. I actually got to sit there and watch Cecil like be a fucking adult and own the show. <laughs> no, he like fucking pitched the show with all of his gusto. He had all the information there, and you spreadsheets sold, and <laughs> sold graphs. the show with all of his heart and his belief. And this is his life, and he's like, "This is gonna happen for me, and this is gonna not just gonna happen for me. It's gonna happen for everybody mm-hmm. that's put their time and energy in this." And he got the funding that he needed to make things happen. And we would not be where we are today without his ability to pull shit together and just fucking show up like that. And, and Duh. He's there day in and day out. And I don't, so, want, so. I don't want to make it sound like he doesn't show up because he fucking shows up. He, like, this is his life. It And, and I've never, I've known him for so long. And I've watched him... him and Dave come up with a bunch of ideas and have a lot of energy to it and and that and this and you really like came through for this and I was never was so proud Mm -hmm. to watch you do it (laughs) it was so exciting and and to see that we've come four years of doing this and up and down and all around like it's awesome dude and it's something (laughs) you should totally be proud of because I know I am super proud of you. Well, I think, Thank you very I think much. <laughs> 99.9% of the people who have participated in the horror show have had fun. Who's the point yeah. zero? And, they, <laughs> and you wouldn't have the love and the family and the energy behind it without a leader like that. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> You're a you, fearless leader, dude. You you gotta, I mean, fucking... everybody has their ups and downs, but man, we, the show wouldn't be where it is. We so all that, march behind a that's psycho. Right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I'll take it. So, <laughs> so Thank that's, you very much. That's my moment. And Thank you. Um, I'm proud. I was. I'm just proud to watch it happen every day. Mm. So well, it, it, the show wouldn't be where it's at without you and bringing Marsha and 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 Bob to the to not only the table, but you had to do more than that. You didn't just like you like you had to vouch for it and you had to be like. I know you had to be like, listen, I believe in this. This is something that isn't just going to be a temporary thing. Like, mm-hmm. you know, and and that's not lost on me. The fact that you believed as much as you did in the show. The fact that everyone here believes as much as they do in the show. Yeah. Like, we've been doing it. This is the four-year podcast anniversary. 
not a single person has gotten paid in that four years, guys. Like <laughs> this, this is this is literally a passion project. But the show has just gotten to a point where we're finally starting to get paid, and I'm starting to set aside money to pay back Bob and Marsha. Mm-hmm. And like it's it's an exciting place to be in after the amount of work that we've put into it. Mm-hmm. So, um, but again, you know. Just right back at you. The the show wouldn't be where it's at if it wasn't for you and your involvement in in the channel and trying to make it better and trying to just seeing seeing the possibilities. Like that's that's the hugest thing as as like you know what I like to consider being the driving force behind the channel, knowing that you guys see down the line like I do at what this can and will be like that is so huge and heartening to me like it's been four years and you guys are still here like uh, it just means a whole lot to me so I'm not trying to monopolize your time please go, go ahead but thank you I appreciate that well you know I people who actually know me very well know I don't vouch for anybody unless I really mean it because um, I think when you vouch for somebody and they, they, you have to mean it because if they fall back on you, it's a representation of yourself. And so I would never put your name forward if I didn't think that you had <laughs> what it took, especially to my in-laws. So, so, so there's that, but, and then Jaime, <laughs> Oh boy. This is gonna be good. No, I don't know if anybody really knows this story. Maybe Ooh, I'm not oh, so I love does Jaime even love remember yeah. this story? Is I that love story. Story. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's the like, best kind of stories. So the first time your name popped up, I thought you were a girl. <laughs> and I was like, this bitch. Who the fuck oh, is coming into the show? I haven't even been asked to be on the show. And here they are bringing on another girl. And it's not me. So I'm like... It's this Jamie with right. this blonde hair. And like, so I show up fuck? and he's in the, it's Jaime. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, let me see what he's got. And oh my God, you like blew me out of the water. Like Ooh. I'll never forget like how professional you were. How ready you were to do the like the reviews, like you were on point. And there's so many of them too. So willing. <laughs> that was like the, when we had to just stockpile all yeah, of the work. Yeah, it was. Uh, Way worse than covering two, a convention. Yeah, it was season two, and I was watching you do it. You were doing, you were flawless. And then to me, you blowing, you blew me away with just how prepared you were, and then mm. the willingness to get into the devil's outfit. And that was actually, you know what? I I got mixed up because that was gonna be my Dave moment. Was when Dave was putting me in that makeup, and we did the, you know, like how to of him just turning me yeah. into a demon. I was so caught up with thinking of how much Mercer made me laugh in Zed and stuff. Yeah. I think that might, might be a. That might be my date moment, yeah, but I'm not trying was, to cut you off. No, you're fine. You're no. fine. No, it was, uh, it was, it blew me out of the way. And I was like, you know what? This is why he's on the show. I get it. Like, <laughs> like, this is, this is it. Like, he needs to be part of the show. He needs to be a face of the show because he, he gets it. He fits well. And you're willing to fucking do anything to be a part of it. And... Except for let my parents see that video. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. But, but that's what I remember most of, like when um, when you when I was introduced to you. But I mean, obviously, over time we got really close, and yeah, the slumber right. parties were always fun. Yeah. You know? Those are awesome. I love when Stranger we do Things. Those. Stranger, Stranger Things. Stranger mm-hmm. Things. And also the Aliens one too. Was aliens. Great. We gotta do. We gotta awesome, do awesome, more awesome. Children of the Corn or Hellraiser or something. Oh, we gotta do more. Man. Those Tuesdays when I found like snuck my way into your little Tuesday thing yeah. and kind of pushed that. myself on that. Tuesday. Those are some of my favorite Taco times. Tuesday. Oh, it was yeah. great. We would watch something. Carne asada place yeah. down there. Yeah, yeah. It was, we had a great time. It was Damn when it. I was working at Enterprise, so I had those are some of my favorite off. fucking as, memories. As the five dollar movie. Let me movies. just say that's what. Yeah, the five dollar Tuesday movies. That's yeah. right. always Smart. been the appeal of the sh- of the channel. Is that it's just a bunch of friends having fun? Yeah, yeah. and, and we're literally. I mean, <clears throat> that's that's the thing we've always meant. For you, the viewer, to feel like you're sitting here with us, which you are, around the table, you know, with <laughs> horrific Harry. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's always wow. been the point, Sorry. and <laughs> and I think I, I think we've been able to Sorry. successfully <laughs> achieve that. So, yeah. Marsha, who else this do we have? The so then Get there's Dave. Dave. Guys, are you li- are, is the is the essential three listening? Yeah, this, yeah. I'm getting to you guys now. So yeah. we got Dave. Now Dave and I we go way way back, back. the way, way back machine. Way, way back. Way back. Um, like the most fun I have watching Dave is when he's in his element, and that's definitely the sweet was number one, was one because I get just sat back and I just watched you like zone in. You're there. This is my job. This is what I love to do. Let's get it. And done. it was so fucking impressive. And I love every single time I've watched you do it, whether it was a cu- in a couple of movies that we won't name. And then sweet, <laughs> <laughs> or any sort of short that we ever did. But the most fun I had watching you do was Boogeyman. All right, <laughs> Boogeyman is still my go-to when I'm like, I want to watch something fun. It is. I hilarious. did make a pre-roll with Boogeyman. Oh. That is such a good comedy. That is it part was, of the live stream oh, pre-roll. It's now. so Great. Dave, just like it absolutely is. Oh my gosh, I just, <laughs> you have to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Throws up it's confetti. Just, it's, <laughs> it's Dave's heart right there, just like. You it's when Dave listen. plays a pedophile and takes a kid into a closet. <laughs> He's not a pedophile. What can I say? I like kids. <laughs> <laughs> he likes boogieing with kids. No, you know what they say about kids? They're all pink on the inside. <laughs> Whoa. We had, a, we had a lot of That's fun while you were... Zoinks. We had a lot of fun where you're getting the makeup on. I got to help film you getting your makeup on. And well, I mean, that's, that that's a big Dave part that... of producer Dave is, like, mm-hmm. I like to have the makeup. I like yeah. to be separate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and that's what Dave can be on camera if he's a character. Yeah. 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 But that was he's actually the same day. Or the same day we did the first set. So you actually hung around and did Boogeyman after we did Zed the Zombie Hunter yep. without having known that we lost it that day. Yeah, but it yeah, it, it was great. Okay, yeah, please so continue. I, have, I always have fun here, so I'm always willing to pitch in. And then, <laughs> and then there's Mercer. I feel like me and Mercer have created this bond, this unbreakable bond over the last few years, whether it's Snapchatting. <laughs> wow. That's what I was going to say. I knew it when you guys oh, were making your Snapchat. The Snapchatting. Talking a lot. You have like the best reactions to my really horrible jokes. That, uh, <laughs> they are pretty unsurprising. It just warms my heart. <laughs> just the the banter between us and uh, and just getting to know you over the years has been awesome. And I wouldn't I wouldn't trade it for. I wouldn't anything. have brought him along if he wasn't like a good it. guy. Yeah, yeah. but. Oh yeah, and like the biggest thing though was when we were on Sweet and we were fucking talking some shit the whole fucking time. We were talking some that shit the whole time. <laughs> to each just, other or like what? Just no, about everybody else. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, no, it's shit. Oh, man. Let's be honest. I feel bad. After the 11th hour, it got a little squirrely. It got a little weird. It did. But no, but it was all fun. We were having yeah. a great time. We were, we were having fun. Was a With fun the time. goats. Yep. We were fun. Yeah. The fucking the ghosts, ghosts. <laughs> dude. <laughs> and then we had, what was that, periscope? We were periscoping really horrible jokes while yeah. we were filming. Oh, man, you remember who I jumped just on the periscope yeah. bandwagon and just we was being ridiculous We were doing a lot of jokes oh, about people who were on the periscoping. I look over at Marsha, <laughs> and she just has a, has a um, phone in her hand. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Periscope, we're doing all this cool stuff. Okay. <laughs> like I got a boom in my hand. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I mean, just to suck Sweet Stick a little bit more, just, just one more time, is that um, it's it's still my favorite memory because of the fact that to piggyback on what you said with Dave, like that felt like like a profession. Like I mean, mm-hmm. it, it wasn't just a bunch of buddies trying to do something half-assed super eight status or you know whatever i mean no, i was always intended to be i i felt like that and that's why it's received some of the recognition mm-hmm. that, yep. that that i think it has and so that's why i'm humbled to be to have been a part of that as process, much fun you know? as we have we do take it seriously mm-hmm. yeah and that's and, and that's what i always say to, to viewers is that i'm like we take horror seriously, but we don't take ourselves very seriously. Yeah. We have fun with this coverage. That's why we're yeah. not scary. We're scary in four minutes. Yes. That's right. Um, um, wait, 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 one last thing about Mercer, yes, though, please. is that he made me remember why I love cops so much. So mm. those late like nights show? when everybody else would fall asleep and we were on the couches waiting to wake up again to watch movies, we were watching cops. Bad I boys, love that bad show. Boys. So yeah. Who you gonna call? Yeah. Well, they all start out the same with a cop <laughs> rolling up on a dude <laughs> that is just like, 
I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> and this is like, mmm. <laughs> One of the funniest <laughs> ones that I saw recently, though, was where they pulled this girl over and she hadn't done anything wrong. And they questioned her for like 10 minutes. I saw this at work and then they just let her go. Because they were <laughs> certain she'd done something wrong. Like, certain, that they searched that was her a trunk and like all this. Stuff. No, it was just funny seeing them actually yeah. not. Like, it was actually kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> it's a scary informative scene. Yeah, scary informative. <laughs> oh, I love that line. Scary well, let me let me um kind of try to wrap everything. Wait, up. wait, wait! I haven't. She got has Lou. one more for Lou. Yeah, oh, Lou. you got me. Yeah, I love how Lou loves everything that I don't. <laughs> that's what, that's what I, like. I was gonna say that's what I like about you. Like. Realizing that, like, yeah, yeah, realizing that like, Lou versus our sensibilities were so different, and like, being and we didn't find that out until the, the Phoenix, show. Oh well, I didn't find it really until Phoenix Comic Con when oh, I had okay. it, when I when we were talking about something. I can't remember what we were talking about. Like, oh, you're talking about how you didn't like Chinese food, <laughs> <laughs> and I turned to you and I was like, it's not I just, Chinese food, it's and I was like, I just realized. That the more I hang out with you, the more and more I realize you and I have nothing in common. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, we still like it's, it's still laugh. It's like, still still, okay. Yeah. It's okay. But it's weird. I'm yeah. like, yeah, what you like, I'm like, no, I don't like it. What I like, you're like, I don't yeah. like that either. Like, <laughs> Shut up, I like it. Like A24, ew. And you're like, what? It's so awesome. Yeah. Okay. yeah, well, that's yeah, that's more than just you two. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, I mean, it, it stands for that. But it, it's awesome because I like how we can be different. Yeah. But still be okay with it. Yeah. And, yeah. And like, it. I don't, like, hate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're like, I don't have to pretend Her to like what you like. No, that's what I like. No, I'm saying it's like, I like yeah. it. I'm just saying, like, I don't like, oh, that Marsha. <laughs> All right, so now let's go, MPH. let's go counterclockwise. Let's go Lou, Andrew, and we'll finish with Dave, because Dave's been around All since right. the beginning as well as Andrew. So I'll make it quick, because I haven't been go around ahead. that make long. Quick. But I'll say that with Fuego, it was definitely meeting you. And that first inter- uh, first review, because yeah. like I used to do a which review was that Southbound. Nice. Oh, I remember. That's because, right. That's right. Because uh, because when like, I got I used, all I up in arms, I was a... like, "Who's this?" Oh, he actually knows what he's talking about. Okay. <laughs> I, used to, I used to have a podcast with a buddy of mine, and it was basically us doing that. So like, have being allowed to like have a uh, where I can just talk about what I like. Yeah. It, it's been nice. Yeah. Like, so yeah. that's that, and so I appreciate that. Oh yeah, man. Like I said, I'll make this super quick. Cecil. With you, man, like, because I used to have a podcast, I mean, and it didn't go where we wanted to go, watching you, like, do what you do, and, like, take it super serious, like, <laughs> it's very impressive. <laughs> I'll be honest, it really is, man. I was like, man, that's what me and my buddy, like, tried to do. <laughs> we, did, we did 17 episodes, and, like, they were just kind of... So seeing that, like, that's, that's I like, that's cool. it, it makes it easier when I have such a big cast of characters, because when people fall off, or like... I need this week off. Yeah. We're like, okay, you and you, I need you here yeah. because they are not going to come this week. You know, like it, it like makes it a little bit to easier. Do the panels, man. Like, I yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. that. Like, like I said, like I've always. Well, you proved to do yourself panels, to be knowledgeable. I'm so nervous so. and scared. <laughs> well, but you proved yourself to be knowledgeable, and now you've done. I thought you have done more than just the one panel at this point. Well, yeah, I did, no, did a I bunch did three, of it. You did, did a bunch, three, right? Three, so, three, so now you have to say, aren't you more? Comfortable up there talking like and shit. Yeah, like I said, man. Like you said, <laughs> the last one, I I was high and I kept every That's time. What I, and yeah. every time you guys were like, we're gonna go do this panel. I didn't stay at the convention. I went to the bar <laughs> and I had drinks to prepare for the next. But you'll be okay. But you know what? Compared to one and person, person in particular, <laughs> you conducted yourself oh my a God. whole lot better, <laughs> man. I have to say that was another Jesus fun Christ. moment. Of you. Like seeing not you, like, not like, not see me freak out on the sidelines, like walking. Walking drunk and seeing you and no one without without anyone saying anything, looking at you, being like, I think he's pissed. Yeah, I was like, (laughs) Homeboy looks pissed about something. I told, I Fuego walked out. I was like, he is never allowed on the channel again. (laughs) That was the first thing I told Fuego. And I was like, I'm not even friends with him anymore. <laughs> it was great. And then, like, of course, stole from me, stole comic books. I hate that. Man. Oh, I was yeah. that shit. yeah. And then, like, of course, like, oh. me and my dude, old guitarist's shady. guitar, dude. Damn. My, my buddy Matt Lacey stole his uh, old guitar. Anyway, uh, we're just having a very long at this point. And then, of course, like I said with Marsha, it's just the fact that we don't really <laughs> have anything in common. Right. But yet, we still. Every time we're around, I still like giggle. Yeah, mm-hmm. we like we're giggle friends. <laughs> yeah, we're giggle buds. <laughs> giggle buds. <laughs> All right. Dr. You guys, I'll be honest, like, I don't know you guys that oh, well. Oh, there you go. Fair but, enough. But I will say, with you, I think it's a few reviews I've done mm-hmm. with you where like we get to you and then you're like, 
I'm not like really into this. I, <laughs> <laughs> like, I always found it funny when you're like, I don't know, read comics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you guys are talking about? Just <laughs> trying to be real. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to be real. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone appreciates the real this time. It's true. It's true. So, yeah. That's funny. And I don't think Dave, you and I haven't really spent too much time. Well, Dave's going to be around a lot more. He was very busy for the last number of years, mm-hmm. so that's why you probably didn't see him around that much, but that's going to be a huge difference now. But you had nice now. classes. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. <laughs> but no, I'll be honest, like, I am, like, because I used to take, uh, I went to film school and all that, and, you know, I would definitely like to see, hearing them talk about, like, the way you are on set, I'm very curious to see. Well, this, this show wouldn't be. Yeah. If it wasn't for Producer, producer Dave. Yeah, producer that's Dave. right. This that's show that's wouldn't all, be all keep, at all. That's all I keep hearing. It wouldn't know, so. be at all. He... Literally, well, he, he and his his <laughs> ex film <laughs> partner came to me, approached me with like an idea for a horror themed show. It was where totally they, different, though. Totally different. Yeah. Where they would just interview local filmmakers and yeah. put well, it up on it like about, college TV I was stations to help produce a YouTube show that was about promoting independent horror. Right, mm. and there was part of that that I really appreciated. That I think that the show has always done, where it's like, doesn't matter if you had a huge budget or a low budget. Yeah, we're gonna appreciate if you did good. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's what I think we tried to start. Well, and you, and you approached about. me as a as a possible host. Yeah, for the show, and you were like, you know, and then he that told me that, and I was show, like, though. I was like. Yeah. Oh, but but yeah, that's a great idea. You could do this. You could do this. You could do no, this. No, 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 no. no. What, it, what happened was <clears throat> no, that is because uh, Robert and I, Rob jumped off. Yeah. He's like, this is way bigger than yeah, I ever yeah. wanted. Rob and I were like, hey, let's have a guy review independent horror films. And then you were like, well, why don't I do this, 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 this? So and like literally, you presented thing. it to it's me, and all of a sudden, thing. the horror show blew into my head, and I'm like, we could just do a horror <laughs> variety show where we do this, and we do this, and we yeah. do this, and we do this, and it could be awesome, it could be really cool. And then Rob eventually was like, this is way bigger than than I ever yeah. anticipated it to be. I'm stepping More out. More work. More work yeah. than I ever wanted it no to offense. be. No offense. He stepped Come out, on, and then fucking Dave and I... Stepped up and we made. Go ahead. What you can throw it up too. The horror show channel. He Yo, fucked you too. Dude, he fucked you too. Man. <laughs> he fucked you too. Oh, all right, oh, all right calm down. Did right, you nice. like it? Don't do that. Yeah. All right. Uh, Why not? Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, we don't need. We don't need to go all that way. But no, I mean, I can I can piggyback on that though, in the fact that the thing that I found so interesting about the channel when I first discovered it, even even beyond the comedy sketches and stuff like that, was the fact that it was focusing on smaller films. Yep. And granted, as we grew as a channel, we grew to start covering we right. had to start bigger, covering the right. bigger, bigger films. Yeah. I mean, it did bring in the numbers a lot more so, but I still feel like we maintain the spirit of that yeah. approach with interviewing these small artists mm-hmm. and these people at conventions. You need to watch are, Bigfoot Project because I'm going to watch it also. Stuff like that, you know? And we still we still hear from a lot of smaller filmmakers that are like, hey, please, here's the link. Watch our, watch our movie and Honestly, be honest a big, and let a us big, know what you think. A big part of that was... We wanted to promote people who were into the horror horror mm-hmm. industry. Yeah. Whether it was uh, Jeremy Spicer, mm-hmm. who had these yeah. fucking amazing creatures that he I built. need to put his commercials right part of the world, too. <laughs> you yeah, know. His, his name I is, mean, uh, you know, Dirky Harry or whatever over there. Uh, <laughs> Dirty, horrific Harry. Horrific Harry. What? Dirty. Dirty. I'm being funny. Are you Dirty Harry. My point is I'm sitting. I'm making a joke. I get it. I get it. What are you, new? <laughs> I think that's part of what we really wanted to bring to no. uh, YouTube was this community of uh, mm-hmm. horror aficionados, horror creators, mm-hmm. horror artists, and horror fans. Yeah, you enthusiasts, know? because they yeah. are very devout and, and usually awesome. lifelong horror fans. So I mean, loyal. It's, so loyal. It's, it's, it's a way of life in a lot of ways if you're really into horror. Andrew, you're up, son. Um... <clears throat> I can pretty much make it pretty quick all the way around. Go ahead. They're, they're good. They're they're action packed. Go ahead, Marsha. I'll start with you. Um, you got to see a side of me most people don't get to see. Um, when I was watching Game of Thrones, oh, <laughs> yeah. pretty, pretty geeked out with Game of Thrones. That's, That's true. Right. Trying to figure everything out before yes. the episode airs. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, and also it during the Patriots ridiculous. comeback in the Super Bowl when Mercer was just in disbelief. Yeah. 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 Yep. 
But um, <laughs> I don't know. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was a show that we uh, we get to talk about it at length, and it, it's just a bunch of what do you think's gonna happen? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you think that's gonna happen? I already what know what's gonna happen yeah. because I read. The <coughs> you haven't they veered away though? Yeah. That's They've right. completely. Yeah, they're way past the books. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you can but, pretty much tell what they're gonna do. Um, <laughs> Jaime, uh, I'm not skipping. I'm just. I'm, no, I'm going it's cool. You can skip. I, I, look, I'm, 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 I'm not expecting right anything from anyone. Uh, <laughs> Jaime, the thing that I laugh at the most is anytime we play video games. It's <laughs> 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 we haven't really done I know, very I know. much at all. It's been I hit, it's hit or miss. But, uh, I thought it was going to be a South Park reference or something over here, but because <laughs> we bond over South Park. We do, we do. We bond mm-hmm. over a lot of South Park. I don't know. It's just. I love when we play video games. It's just a lot of fun. I, See, I, I, I get frustrated because well, I used to be good at them. It's not. <laughs> it's not I'm terrible. It's not just the, like because I I could say the same thing about Cecil and he gets frustrated at video games. That's why I tune in most of the time to a live stream. Yeah, that's what I'm finding out. Um, yeah. People are like, this is why I watch. I'm like, fuck, fine. Man, they fuck want the you. nerd rage. I'll but, keep playing. I don't know. It's like it's something where it frustrates you, but you still find enjoyment in it. So you're so you're still going back to it. Like I hate yeah, this game. Going back round to number two. Back, back to <laughs> yeah. I love oh, it. Oh, when we were playing the fighting games. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, I remember. well, it, it, not even just that. Uh, we played we played Friday a the number 13th, of, we of uh, the, games. I can't yeah. remember which one. Where I was like, really we, bad at Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, I'm not great at that either. Yeah. yeah. When I got Durko's money. Yep, that, that was yeah. a good one. I had one. I, I was. I had one with you, so I just can't. I lost it. It's okay. It was. It had. It wasn't. It wasn't horror related. You got Dave. Yes, Dave. Uh, <laughs> Dave. So we have a. Uh, we stood. We knew. We met each other at the Wild Horse Pass working there, and that has a uh, little bit to do with the horror show, but it was mainly just like high end video gear and stuff like that. And we were professional enough to like do our jobs, but then, you know, had downtime. So I was like, hey, you know, what are you doing? I'm nothing. Just, just sitting here, and I'm on looking at this. And want to smoke some weed? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened at work, Dave. Um, but uh, he's like, I still work there. Um, we used to, uh, I don't know. We like I said, uh, it was a lot of Minecraft stuff at the time. Minecraft, yeah, you guys bonded uh, over that. I we recorded some stuff. Yeah, we had a we had a good little Minecraft series we going. Did. We did, and then nobody tuned in. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I don't know. It's just a lot of fun. Idea, uh, just. Taking an idea and they would just be like, yeah, let's let's do something with it. Let's let's not just let it sit there. Let's do something with it. So, yeah. And that's uh, consistently that's been what Dave does is you know if you have an idea, he's just gonna sit there and get it. Do it. Yeah, you should do it. Do it. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> it's like well, I don't have the means to do it. Just okay, well let's out. do that then. Let's do whatever we gotta do. Do it without the means. It's like sometimes it's like okay, Dave, we're not climbing Everest. Just calm <laughs> down. We're not doing it. But uh, it is the encouragement that you need. So um, I guess that's. Really, why he's, he's kept me here is because he keeps encouraging me that it's, it's, it's you're doing, you're doing. You fun. suck, but you might not suck. <laughs> that's a, that's, that's good. a good, 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 good poster. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Cecil! There it is. So uh, something that I should have gotten way more into, and I regret that I still haven't. It's comic books. So yeah. You are a very knowledgeable person with comic books. Uh, it's kind of as, stupid. I guess everyone it's can It's unfair. See. <laughs> it's unbalanced. <laughs> you put the work in he does with comic books and say it's fair and unbalanced. Yeah. I got 19 boxes of comic books in my room right now. He's got 19 boxes <laughs> Because he literally has no room I, for the amount of comic books he has. I moved. Those really? said to comic yeah. books. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, we just moved. We moved the rest out of my mom's storage back I here. still remember <laughs> the first time I went to your apartment. I don't know where it was, but it was just it was it was before you moved over with your like over to your mom's house where when she moved out. Mm-hmm. But I remember walking in and there was a couch, a TV, and comic books. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. long boxes, just long yeah. boxes oh, yeah. until the day. You like, die! Like yeah. eight shelves. 50,000 comic long boxes? It's insane! I'm sorry. I you had that many I'm long sorry. boxes. Oh, yeah. oh, I've got like 65 or 70 long boxes. Long boxes? Look, look at my yeah. muscles! Yeah. This is from movie yeah. comics! Damn, dude. It's I had, too much I had, trouble. I had to sell mine. 
I, I, mean, uh, I don't regret it, but I do miss them. But like, I can imagine having that many. The thing years. is, they're all Cecil's, they're all like full runs. Here's the problem. The That's the he's got full runs. No, so, so you don't like, have any breaks in between, like right. It's all you finish the series. Yeah, right and it's like if you want to Very sell the cool, one so. valuable comic, it's like you. Yeah, you there's ruin no the fucking. Yeah. No point. All right. Well, so, well, I think let's, let's, it's, let's it's, get not, to, it's not the fact that he has them. He has read them, and he will he will pick the story that you think that, that fits you the best, uh, just based on what you're talking about and mm-hmm. interest that's and actually, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good. So, point. Um, that's, it, that's it, a again, book it's not right yeah, there, it's man. not mm-hmm. just the fact that he has them. It's the fact that he he's very knowledgeable with them. So um, that's the difference. Lou, I think we shared the same. If I could only convince you to read, we don't really cross If I could only convince you to read the Rick and Morty comics, I know you didn't. Enjoy the shit out of them. Wow, as I much know. as you love Rick and He's not even ran, willing to read them. Are they ran by? It's um, um, no, it's they, they, they've got the license, but they're doing a great job. There's aspects from the show that yeah. come back, like Evil Morty is in the comics. Okay. Um, the the, the Dunce Rick mm-hmm. is in the comics <laughs> as well. Like He comes back and sees Jerry again. Like A lot of shit happens that continues threads from the show in the comics. Like There's, uh, there's another Tiny Rick. That shows up. Okay. It's fucking great, dude. It's 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 an awesome series, mm, it's and funny. it's done so well that they've put out like deluxe hardcover, oh, oversized course. editions of the of each trade. Mm-hmm. Like it's these big ass hardcovers. Oh, geez, so they're like coffee table books. Yeah, they do, they're That's already wow. putting out coffee table books. They're only up That's to nice. issue like thirty five. But they're already putting show, out though. huge coffee table oh, books. Yeah. Rick and Morty dude, is smart, is it's insanely. It's the it's the best season. cartoon. Yeah. Ever been. Dude, it's for it's it's like for nah. an, for animated. Sci-fi no, it's the best comedy. cartoon there's nah. ever. For an, stop. 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 For animated sci-fi comedy, like it, like there was Futurama and then nah. it disappeared, and then Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty's the and best. Like, yeah, and yet yeah. Futurama was kind of nah. hit and miss with me. Like like when it was funny, I did really enjoy it, but it never hit like. The it was, but for like me. I'm gonna say yeah. is like it's Futurama. smart sci-fi. Both shows nah. are smart. Futurama is good, but 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 Rick and Morty is like the smartest fucking. From what I watch of it, it was it was okay. I didn't mean to start a Rick and Morty. Yeah. Go ahead, Andrew. And like I said, with Lou, we don't really cross paths too much, but your your laugh is iconic. Thank you. Sorry, that was my impression. It's terrible. I'm not thinking of the dolphin song that Marshall was playing. (laughs) Sorry. But, yeah, um, I don't know, you're a music aficionado. So. No, not. No? No, you think you're someone no? else. No? <laughs> you, you didn't, you don't, uh, oh, you don't do no. the band I stuff? just have long hair. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, that's it. I just I have long hair. You some of the band stuff. No, no. I'm a comic book mm. nerd. Yeah, comic book <laughs> nerd. You work in the service industry, and anybody that can do that, right? right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 there you go. He's a hell All of a right. bartender. He slings a good drink. Well, yeah, Dave, the floor is yours, sir. Go ahead, Dave. What am I? What am I uh, talking about? <laughs> oh, Nothing. Yeah. Never mind. We don't have to oh, quote yeah. I uh, think I've brought up some of my favorite moments yeah. uh, interviewing Susie and being like, "Well, there's no other point to interviewing anybody else." I think Jaime was great. Uh, obviously, Andrew <laughs> was a big part of my. You know, hey man, you want to fucking work for free? That's a funny story. Yeah, yeah, that was great. <laughs> that was a good story. I mean, that's a big part of that's a big part of starting your YouTube channel is getting Free people labor. to fucking Free work. Free labor. Free, Free yeah, labor. labor. Um. So no offense to Andrew, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, well, there you go, guys. Um, I think that's as good a place to end this four-year anniversary podcast as any. Um, sorry about the, uh, the, the little cut in the middle there. The camera died. We had to bring it back, but yeah. I'm glad we got to finish this. Thank you guys very much for watching. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. Gracias, up and Jaime and Fuego. Producer Day! Luis Hernandez. Can I do Susie Bunn Slaughter and Marshberger? Yeah. yeah. So Dirk, uh, Dirk Bearster. <laughs> Harmon, whatever. Hey, you're terrific trying. Terrific Harry, for God's sake. Terrific right. Harry, uh, Dirk. Oh, I get what you're trying to do. Yeah, yeah. No, so no, has no one gotten yeah. my joke the whole time? I got time. it. I was like, I get it. It's <laughs> making the bear Dirk. It's a, it's a Dirk <laughs> sitting. I get it, but... Welcome to the party. Uh, yeah, Welcome to the party, right. pal. All right, All right, guys. Uh, thanks very much, and remember... Stay scared! Stay scared. <laughs>